All right. Hey, happy Wednesday, everybody. <laughs> Tell me how you are doing in the comment section. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Obiora, thanks for being the first person to buy a badge. I appreciate that. <laughs> happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Tell me if it sounds okay and if this is um straight. <laughs> Inca, what do you mean so serious? I had to focus. <laughs> hey, Inca. <laughs> Can you all hear me all right? <laughs> hey, Brandiz. Was it Brandizzle? <laughs> happy, happy, happy Wednesday to you folks out there. I see Piper is on. <laughs> Devin. <laughs> How is everybody doing this evening? Thank you very much. You all said it sounds all right. Living on purpose all the way up in Philly. I hope it's not too cold up there. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm giving you all Butch Queen trade tonight. You all let me know. Is it Butch Queen is a trade tonight? What, what am I giving tonight? Look, let me know, okay? <laughs> Hey, Rob, good to see you. <laughs> Somebody say it's cold as hell up there. All right, y'all, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. We got a special guest. We got a sponsor. We are hanging out with BLK, the number one dating app for black singles. I'm going to talk to you all about it in a little bit. But I want you all to know, I want to, I want to find out what cities are you all in tonight. And I want to know if you're having a watch party. Give me a wave or let me know if you're having a um, a watch party tonight, okay? <laughs> oh, somebody said I'm giving both. <laughs> Butch Queen. <laughs> is it Butch Queen or is it trade tonight? Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> oh, make sure you all um, share this video. We want to, I want you to tag some friends who are single, like single, single. Tag those folks and share this video. We want to get up to 200 people before we get started. You know how we do every, every, every Wednesday. Okay, Octavius is having a watch party, it looks like. All right, all right. I'm so mannish. What's going on? You like baseball caps. What do you think about the baseball cap, huh? <laughs> I see Mateo in the, in the comment section. Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> Miami in the house. Oh, I wish I could be in Miami right now. What warmer weather? That would be great. <clears throat> Thanks, Gabe. That's what you're voting for. So we're voting. Am, am I giving trade or am I giving Butch Queen? <laughs> Harry, you having a, a watch party over there? You having a, a watch party? If you're having a watch party, I want you to give me a little wave or like let me know. <laughs> I love it when there are watch parties. Make sure you all um, go ahead and tag a friend, share this video. We want to get to 200 people before we get started. <laughs> we are going to have a lot of fun tonight. I got some good questions. I got a special co-host. We are going to make it happen tonight, okay? <laughs> Where are all my single folks? <laughs> Someone said, bring on the trade, bring on the trade. We'll see if this trade look will bring more trade on tonight, okay? Where are all the trade folks tonight? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> really? <laughs> Corey said, Butch Bunny. You ain't shit, okay? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thin Bond Slurp. Yes, this is the slurp for me. <laughs> oh! Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, we got some, a lot of watch parties tonight. My co-host, he will be on in a second. We're, we're, I, what I want to do first is I want to bring on maybe one or two folks, and then I'll bring on my co-host, okay? We'll see. <laughs> last week, I want to, what did you all think about last week? I know last week it was a short edition um, because I was in New York and I was with the family, but I feel like last week was diversity week at its best, right? We had black guys, white guys, we had cisgender women, we had trans women. It was like really, really, really diverse, which I love. I hope we can keep that up, but making sure, 
you know, y'all in the comment section, y'all know how y'all do. <laughs> y'all be doing the most in the comment section, okay? <laughs> Last week was not weird. It was, well, there was one weird person, but I'm not going to say who it was. But it was diverse, and I love it. So let's keep that good energy going, okay? All right, all right. We are up past 200 people. That was quick. Thank you very much. All right, welcome to Shoot Your Shot Wednesdays. I'm Lamont White, the gay dating coach. And you all know every Wednesday night, I invite singles to come on Instagram Live with me to have a lot of fun. So if you're single and you want to come on Instagram Live with me, you can click the request button. There's a little camera right next to the comment section, the little icon. Click that icon. I'll invite you to come on. I will also um, ask you some funny, some insightful, and some spicy questions. And I will invite the guys who are watching to take you out on a date. Yes, this is a free, you know, night. So if you're looking for love all over the United States, this is where you want to be tonight, all right? <laughs> all right, let's get it started. Let's get it started. Click the request button. I'll bring you on. Let's see who we have. D the man, why are you so nervous? <laughs> oh, All right, let's see who we have. I am going to go to Colin, and then I will go to Nathan. Colin, and then I'm going to Nathan. Y'all in this queue tonight. I'm going to try to keep it going fast so we can have a good conversations. Come on, come on. Make sure you update your Instagram app also, because sometimes if you don't do that, you won't be able to join. Um, and make sure you have good lighting and good Wi-Fi. Okay, I guess Colin is not coming on. Colin, you're not coming. If not, Colin, I'm going to go to Nathan. I'll try one more time. Colin, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Is it me or is it you, Colin? Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to go to Nathan then because that's not working. Let's see. Or is it my app? Hello, hello, hello. Hi. How you doing, Nathan? I'm well. How are you? Good. I was trying to figure out what was going on with, the, I mean, if it was my thing or was it the other guy? I don't know. It worked easy for you? It did. It just, yeah, but there was a little bit of a lag, but it worked. Okay, yeah. There's usually a five second delay on here all the time. You were on here last week when you were asking questions. <laughs> I was, I was. And my, um, the friends that I was watching with have been hounding me all week to come back on. So here I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I, but listen, I want to give a recap. So Nathan came on last week. There was a guy who was in New York. Um, he was a white guy who likes to date black guys. And Nathan asked two questions that the guy thought was kind of like, wait a minute, not so friendly. Cause I think you asked him, um, who did he vote for? And when, what's the last black business he invited, he invested in, right? Oh, no, that he supported. <laughs> He supported. He supported. Did you think that was a tough question or off-putting? Um, no. Well, I mean, I, I think that if you are a, a white person who is interested in, you know, being friends with or dating um, black men or, or people of color, you have to be prepared to answer those questions. Um, mm -hmm. Because, and I will answer them. No, I did not vote for Trump. <laughs> I was knocking on doors for for Uncle Joe, and um, I. My massage therapist uh, business is black owned. I bought a hat from Straw and Wool in Phoenix. Uh, okay. To go on the uh, so I can answer my own question. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, I do think my thing. My I'll, I I hundred percent agree. If you're going to date outside of your race, whether you're black, white, Hispanic, Latino, Asian, you should be a part of that culture. Like you should either be enmeshed in it or have some connection and. Um, not just like, oh, I'm just trying this for the hell of it, regardless of what race you are. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. And you certainly cannot 
vote for somebody who's a white supremacist enabler and then want to date somebody of color. Say it, say it again louder for me, Nathan. Say it. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, Nathan, where are you now? Because I think you were in Nashville. Were you in Nashville before? I was. So, so okay. today I'm in Charlotte. Um, okay. So we were doing a cross-country road trip to Charlotte. Um, we got here last week, and I'm, I'm going to be here through the rest of the week. But I normally live in Phoenix. But you normally live in Phoenix. Okay. Mm -hmm. How long are you going to be visiting Charlotte? Um, I'm going to go home on Sunday. Sunday. Okay. All right. So let's get started with some of these questions, Okay. All right. So Nathan, you're in Phoenix. How old are you? Um, well, I'm I'm 37. Actually, I just turned 37. When did you turn 37? Yesterday. Oh, happy belated birthday! Thank you. So that you're Capricorn. Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Okay, Capricorn. See, I, I I know some of my zodiac signs. <laughs> um, how tall are you, and about how much do you weigh? Um, I'm six feet tall, and. I weigh probably 225, 230. Okay. And are you team top, bottom, or verse? Um, that's a good question. Uh, I, I would say probably team top with, you know, Christmas and birthdays. Oh, you're, you're one of those Christmas birthday um, verse, verse bottoms, right? Mm -hmm. So, well, you're top, but you give up some cake once or twice a year. Yeah, why not? Okay, okay. And what type of work do you do? Uh, I'm an attorney. Your attorney. Okay. What type of law do you practice? Um, so I have my, uh, well, it's not my own firm. I have a law partner, but we mm -hmm. do um, kind of two different niche areas. We represent fraternities and sororities, and then we do any kind of LGBT related work. So employment discrimination, uh, adoption, family planning, um, and anything that touches on the LGBT community. We do a lot of name changes and work with the trans community as well. Oh, good. So you out there making a difference in the world. Well, I'm, I'm trying. Absolutely amazing. Go ahead and tell us your Instagram handle, please. Uh, so it's narrowhead11, and I need to confess that I don't have any pictures on there. Uh, ah, why not? Um, I don't really like taking pictures or posting pictures of myself. Um, I did not want to, I resisted getting an Instagram for a long time, but I got one during the pandemic because a lot of people were doing concerts on their live um, mm -hmm. so, but it, I, I, I never feel like, I never take a picture and feel like the need to post it. So, so I'm going to ask for a huge favor because mm -hmm. you're saying your page is private. So can you, after we finish this live, make your page public, but also post at least two pictures of yourself? Y yes, I will do that for you. Like you can do that tonight. So that way, cause it looks creepy if you are private and you have no, pictures and it's a this is a dating I know. show I know. and guys want to take you out on a date and they need to know what you look like i know i know well <laughs> i mean you're, you're seeing me right now but okay but, okay do, but you promise you're gonna do that i will okay perfect perfect all right you all this is nathan nathan lives in phoenix he's 37 he's six foot even he's 230 pounds He's a Capricorn team top, and he's an attorney. Tell us, um, Nathan, what type of guy are you looking for tonight? Um, that is a good question. Um, I, I feel like I would um, like somebody who is kind of in a good place in their own life, in their own career, and um, can really, um, you know, w would be a good like team or a good partner. Um, I feel like it's it's difficult to own my own business and uh, mm -hmm. have to just I like I feel like I'm responsible for everything and it's exhausting and you know I would like somebody that that is gonna you know make my life easier and more enjoyable and not be more like drama or work or um, is gonna wear me out even more. Okay, what, so what's the longest relationship you've been in? <clears throat> um, I have had uh, three four year relationships. So for three, four. Okay. So guys love to hear like you've been in long term um, relationships because it shows that like you you're committed to really being in a relationship. Okay. Mm -hmm. What makes you a really good catch, Nathan? Um, hmm. That's a good question. I, I, I don't know that I can answer. I, I don't like like what qualities about you do you feel like are really good? 
Um, I, I think that uh, I, you know, care a lot about other people and would do a lot of stuff, you know, would do a lot for people that I love and care about, like drive across the country to help you move to Charlotte. So mm -hmm. that, that's, I think, a good, like, I guess that would be what I would say is my selling point. I, I, that means you are caring and a provider. So that's a good quality. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I would love for somebody to come on and ask Nathan a question. So if you want to come on and ask Nathan a question, wave in the comment section, say, hey, add me, and I will bring you on so you can ask Nathan a question. I'm sure we can get somebody who can ask him a really good question <laughs> about, you know, dating or more, get to get to know him. Definitely want somebody. Okay. All right. And I'll keep asking um, questions. Sure. Tell me, um, what are your thoughts about, like, marriage and children? Um... I think my views have changed over the years. Um, I do not feel like I would be interested in having any biological children. Um, mm -hmm. I don't feel like, you know, I don't know what the world's gonna look like in 50 years. I don't wanna do that to somebody, you mm -hmm. know? But uh, I would be open to adopting, um, you know, if there are, you know, children out there that need a good home, I would be down for that. So you would be okay. Okay. Now, does the guy have to live in Phoenix? Um. Well, that's uh, you know, I, I would be open, and I mean, Phoenix is supposed to be uninhabitable by the, you know, in fifteen years. So I, I why? Think why is that? It, it's going to be too hot. Yeah. Yeah. So. So you would date someone who lives maybe like in L.A., Texas. Sure. I mean, we'd uh, yeah, I'd be open to exploring. You know, we'd obviously have to figure out. Um, some sort of relocation at some point, but um, yeah, why not? Okay. Now, what's a good age range for you? Um, probably late twenties to early forties, so maybe twenty six to forty four, forty five. Okay, because you're thirty seven, right? Right. Okay. Okay. Now, um, what are your race preferences? Do you prefer to date black, white, Asian, Latino? Um, I, I would say I, I don't really have a, a race preference. Um, I, I do feel like um, I've tried to be, um, well, I, I guess I, I feel a little standoffish with other white people since the last election, um, just because I can't believe so, like 57% of white men voted for Donald Trump. And so that makes me sort of distrust you um, mm -hmm. until you demonstrate that you are not one of those. Um, but so, you're, so you, you wouldn't date a white guy or you have to put him through like a certain test or something? Yeah, I, I wouldn't date anybody that voted for Trump, obviously. But um, mm -hmm. I, I, I feel, um, you know, since being single, I've been single about a year. Um, mm -hmm. I've tried intentionally swiping on lots of different uh, people, lots of different races. Um, and mm -hmm. it seems like the people who match with me are, are usually black men. Okay, so you prefer black guys. Okay, okay. I didn't say that. Oh, you've been beating around the bush. <laughs> Just say it, Nathan. Okay. <laughs> no one is going to throw a rock at you. If you prefer black men, that is totally fine. Okay. Are you going to say it or not? Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I definitely wish I could get somebody to ask you a question, but I don't think anybody... Wave and say, hey, add me if you want to ask Nathan a question, okay? Um, what are your thoughts about monogamy, open relationships, agreements? Like, where do you land? Um, I, I think uh, people should do what works best for them. And I think um, that we can kind of get ourselves into trouble trying to conform to an institution that wasn't ever meant to include us. So, um you know, if, if, uh, I, I just don't, I don't know that it's realistic to expect to get everything you ever need from one person. And I think mm -hmm. it's important to just be able to talk about that and come to an agreement if there's something that somebody wants that they're not getting. Okay. Okay. So different agreements. Okay. Um, Ron, oh, I thought he wanted to ask you a question. He waved, but didn't, it didn't happen. Oh, well, no, no. Okay. So I'm going to be asking you some, um, since, you know, our sponsor is BLK, a dating app, 
some of my questions are going to be around like actually using dating apps to find love. Sure. So, um, when you meet a guy, have you ever met a guy off of a dating app? Yes, I have. So, do you prefer to meet the guy at your house, his house, or in public? Um, I think probably for the first time, usually meeting in public. Um, so, restaurant or bar or some sort of activity. Oh, oh, so you usually public. Have you ever gone to a guy's house or yours? I, I have, yes. Okay. But preference is, hey, in public. Okay. Um, oh, question. When when you meet a guy on a dating app, when do you exchange contact information, like telephone numbers? Uh, that's that's hard to, to gauge. I think it just depends on how the conversation is going. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, so, but, but I think... Generally, I wait until like after the first meet up and like if, if we'd like to see each other again, then let's exchange numbers. Oh, so after you meet on per in, in person, then you exchange contact inf information, but not beforehand. Yeah. Why is that? I, I don't know. Uh, just because like, what if you meet and they're like weird or creepy or it doesn't go well. <laughs> um, and they keep calling you. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. I think someone has a question for you. Let's see if they if he comes on. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Pittsburgh, right? Yeah, exactly. Ah, remember. I remember you. <laughs> you remember. That's awesome. You're a nurse, right, too, right? Yep, I'm a nurse. I'm almost done with Nurse practitioner school, I have 113 days left, so. Oh, congratulations, okay. congratulations. Thanks. Thanks, I appreciate it. Yes, go ahead and introduce yourself and ask Nathan your question. Hey, Nathan, my name is Emerald. Uh, I live here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and like I said, I'm almost done with school, and I don't know, I like you, like you're cool, you seem like a really good guy, uh, but I'm just wondering what's your biggest accomplishment, and then what is the thing that you want to accomplish the most out of life? Hmm. So, um, what is my biggest accomplishment so far? Mm -hmm. um, hmm. That is an interesting question. I mean, um, I think uh, just, I guess on paper, like I've, you know, got a law degree. I think that a lot of people would consider that an important accomplishment. Um, but I don't know if, if that's enough. So um, I, I think that um, what would I like to accomplish in life? I think it's just to have like made a difference in enough people's lives that like it, my existence mattered. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think that's, you know, I don't know that I can be more specific than that. Okay. That was okay. very vague, but okay. Go ahead. Well, I mean, and like, what, and what do you want to accomplish? Well, that's what I mean. That, that, that's what I do want to accomplish. I want to make a, def, enough, a difference in enough people's lives that... Um, what specifically do you want to do? Well, I guess, like, I'm thinking, for example, of, you know, things that I've done as a lawyer to help somebody, um, you know, who's going through a transition, you know, change their name, and that makes a big impact. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's something that's, you know, relatively easy for me to do, but is really cumbersome and hard for a lay person to figure out. Yeah. So that makes a huge difference in their life to have an ID that matches who they are. Okay. So, That's so impactful. That is very, because like depending on what state you're in, that is hella hard, right? Mm -hmm. It is. So I, I, I think that's very um, admirable and needed. So I, I, I think that's good. Emerald, yeah. you know, get, 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 go easy on them. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I, I really wasn't trying to like, I don't know, be mean or anything, but like, for me, I work in psychiatry, and I know that I want to specifically help Black people know their worth and know that mental health is so important for them to take care of. Like, that is the thing that, like, drives me to finish, and I just like to see why people are doing what they're doing, you know? Yeah. It sounds like he wants to be impactful in the LGBTQ community. Yeah. That, that's his mission, his niche in life. I mean, right. I I would say any any group that has been sort of like 
you know, underrepresented or put down by the justice system that has not had a fair shake in the justice system, I would like to, you know, help. And I, I think those are the times when I've felt the best about being a lawyer, because, you know, sometimes it's not that fun. Yeah. Awesome. Great question, Emerald. Good to see you again. Stay oh, warm up in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I have my, like, hoodie footy on. Like, <laughs> like that's cute. It's so cold here. It's so cold. Like, oh, it's so cold. I'm sorry for you. But thanks for taking, thanks for taking me. That's so awesome. Good question. Talk to you later. See you, all Emerald. Right. All right, have a good one. All right, bye. All right, all right, all right. Spicy questions. Are you ready for the spicy questions? Mm hmm if you all have a spicy question for Nathan, go ahead and put a red pepper. You know how we do every week. If you have a spicy question, put a red pepper and then your question, and I'll go ahead and ask him, all right? Um, oh, so have you ever used a dating app to hook up with a guy on the first night? Um, I played the fifth. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yes. I will say that. <laughs> who, who hasn't? Come on. <laughs> right. There were no prudes here, and your page is cracked, so you'll be fine. <laughs> now, do you say dick or do you say cock? Uh, dick. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I, 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 so I hate the word cock. It's like, oh, cock, cock. It sounds like that nasty porn that I hate. Yeah. It's so weird. I don't so know weird. It, like, different parts of the country use different like soda or pop? I don't know. Uh, it, 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 well, you know, just don't say cock. It gets, it's a mood killer. It's horrible, horrible, horrible. Yeah. <laughs> All right, have you ever, you know what a starfish is? Yes. <laughs> what are your thoughts about guys sending you starfish pictures? Um, <clears throat> well, I think you should always uh, make sure you have somebody's consent before you send them any kind of naked picture because that's, I think, a major turnoff on dating apps when people, the first thing they send you is just all their naked pictures. Like, so uh -huh. I think if, you know, if I've asked for it and you're sending it to me, then I like it. But I'll, I'll, only if you ask for it, you can uh, send the stuff starfish pictures, but not random, right? Well, any unsolicited uh, nudes. You just like ask the person if they're okay with it first. <laughs> okay, okay. Somebody wants to know how many times have you been to a bathhouse? Uh, is that my friend asking? Probably. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, just twice. Twice. Okay, okay. Yes, we're sex positive over here. We love it. Um, well, oh, do you own any nudes and do you send them? And if so, what are the nudes? Do I own any nudes? Of yourself. Oh, um, maybe. <laughs> and and if, if, if it wasn't maybe, what body parts would they be and would you send them? Um, I, I do not <laughs> like doing that. Um, but I, I, I do have some, you know, shirtless pictures and, um, you know, uh, below. <laughs> And I'll send it, you know, if I feel like it. Okay, so you have eggplant pictures that you might send. Maybe so. Maybe so. <laughs> it's the maybe so for me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, y'all. This is Nathan. Nathan is in Phoenix. He's 37. He's six foot even, 230 pounds. He's a Capricorn team top. He's an attorney. Um, he's looking to get married, you know, doesn't want biological children. He's open to a guy living in any city because it, Phoenix is not going to be inhabitable in, in 15 years. So, you know, you can live where you want. Um, what else? He's open to a wide range of age. He prefers black guys. If you are white, you have to pass a certain test to make sure, you know, you didn't vote for Trump. Um, he is open to agreements when it comes to, like, your sexual relationship. Um, he seems like a really fun guy. You're going to meet him in public if you meet him off a dating app. And he maybe, maybe, maybe might send you some nudes, right? <laughs> Nathan. No, I, I will reciprocate. Same energy okay. I'm getting, I'll give back. Uh, he, he'll reciprocate. <laughs> yes. Tell us your Instagram handle one more time and spell it for the folks, okay? Um, it's Narrowhead, N-A-R-R-O-W-H-E-A-D, and the number 11. 
And yes, I will oh. add some pictures right after this. At like tonight and make it public, okay? That's fine. I will okay, and go on some dates. Keep me posted, okay? Okay, I will. Thanks for coming on the show again. All right, thank you. All right, good night. Good night. Right. Hey, shout out to everybody who, who purchased badges tonight. Absolutely love the support, love the support. Jonathan, I'm gonna bring you on, so go ahead and click the request button. Jonathan, who's my co-host from BLK, go ahead and click the request button so I can bring you on, okay? So tonight, you all, you know, every Wednesday we do Shoot Your Shot, and we invite single folks to come on to find love, have a good time, act silly. Um, we have a special sponsor and co-host, who will, um, you know, talk about their dating app tonight. You see, they gave me all this swag. I'm giving you, you know, trade, maybe, slash Butch Queen tonight. <laughs> so I did, um, let me see, let me see. I'll have him announce it. I'll have him announce it. All right, I think he's ready. Let's see. <laughs> I appreciate the support, as always, whenever you all buy badges. I love the support. All right. <laughs> Jonathan. What's up, Lamar? How you doing? I am good. I am good sitting here on the floor with no furniture, so if it's echoey, that's why. Oh, no, it's, it sounds good. I love the fireplace in the background. I set a little mood, you know? <laughs> a little, 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 little energy over there. A little something. And I see you got the sexy ball head going on tonight. Yeah, you know, I figured because you know how your um your viewers talk about the hatfish, so I said I'll just alleviate all those comments. Am I hatfishing tonight? <laughs> I, I do have hair. I did, I did go to the barbershop. Okay. <laughs> but Jonathan sent me some swag. How did, you, how did you know my head was this big, though? I mean, I could, like, sense it. And, you know, I've seen it before. Because you're so smart. You're so smart. So, you know, big head, big brain. Right? I do have a big head. So I was like, the hat actually fits. <laughs> well, thanks for sending me the swag. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, I, Jonathan works with BLK. Um, it's a dating app, the number one dating app for black singles. So I'm going to let him introduce himself. He's going to be my co-host tonight. He'll ask you all dating questions for apps, and I'll ask you the spicy questions, right? So we're tag teaming tonight, all right? Mm -hmm, a little bit of both. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm Jonathan. Um, I run the dating app BLK, which is the largest. Dating app made for black singles, launched four and a half years ago, set 6.3 million downloads. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're everywhere. We're inclusive, straight, gay, trans, bi, poly, everything in between. Um, we're here for you. And the thing about it is that with us versus the other dating apps, we, um, we align with the culture and like we get things. So that's why I want to ask some of you guys some questions about like experiences and things you've seen on other dating apps to see you know, if BLK could be an alternative. If you haven't heard of it, download it. The link um, that's pinned at the bottom, that's the link to the direct download. The link is in the bio on Lamont's page right now. So try it out, test it out, DM us, tell us if you like it, don't like it. I mean, we respond, we, you know, we want to build this with the community. So, you know, we're all mm -hmm. about that. So it's not going to go to a dead email. It's actually, I'll probably be the one answering it, to be completely honest. <laughs> but, um, oh, that, that's great. So um, for the people who are, are watching, so listen, 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 listen. If you download the app from the link on either, it's on my profile. So listen, if you download from the link in my profile, BLK is donating $10 per download, and I'm going to take that money and donate it to Thrive SSS, which is an aid service organization here in Atlanta. So it is a free, it's free to download, right? There's no cost, right? So no, yes, go yes. ahead, download the app, um, make a profile, but use the link that's in my, um, on my page. I'm going to donate yes. all the money to Thrive SSS. So we have 360 people. I would love, 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 love if we had 360 people to download the app, I'll be having it up all week on my page. So, you know, make sure you download it. Um, if you do download the app, the money is going to a nonprofit organization called Thrive SSS, all right? 
I'll, I'll repeat it later for you because y'all gonna <laughs> forget it. Okay, Jonathan, they're loving you in the comment section. They have so many questions. I don't know well, if I I'm, can I'm not the them. one. I'm not the one that's in the hot seat right now. You know. So. <laughs> they they're saying you're cute. Uh, you know, they want to take you out on a date. You know, you all can slide in his DM. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> My personal is at Kirkland, um, but it's k dot i dot r dot k dot l dot a dot n dot d. If you DM me, I'll give you his his Instagram page. Okay, how about that? Okay. <laughs> All right, so he's going to be my co-host. Um, uh, we're going to do how we normally do. If you're single, you click the request button. I'll bring you on. We're both going to ask you some questions. Jonathan, you have your um, dating app questions prepared? Yep, I came ready. Perfect, perfect. So you can ask each person two dating um, app questions, and then we'll get mm -hmm. into the spicy questions, all right? Bet. Anything else you want to cover? Mm-mm. I was gonna let it flow. Oh, by the way, did you set Nathan up? Like, was that a setup with Nathan beforehand? Because like that was like too. I don't make that. any of this up. I okay. every week I'm equally as surprised as you all are. Okay. <laughs> it is always like, what the hell? Who's gonna come on here this week? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, my co-host, the comment section, I can't control them. They. <laughs> oh, I know. I've watched the show before. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have a big queue, so we are going to keep it going quick. All right, I am going to bring on, let's see, MJ Malik. MJ Malik, let's see if you're ready. Let's see if you're ready. If you're single, click the request button. I will bring you on. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Uh-oh, he's giving trade over here. I am not giving trade. I'm just going to turn the light on, though. I wasn't expecting to be so so so. Let me get set I'm up. I'm teasing you. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. I'm, I'm doing great. How are you doing? I am well. How are you? Great, great. So, is your name? Is it Malik? It's actually Martin, but I I go by MJ. Malik is just uh, fun. I guess I was. Say. What is your name? It's Martin. <laughs> That's my room. Marvin or AKA MJ. Okay. <laughs> what are you sipping on over there? Oh, just some wine. Just some wine. A little life to show with. Okay. Okay. Where do you live? Uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte in the house. Okay. How old are you? Uh, 31. Oh, 31. How tall are you and about how much do you weigh? Uh, five eleven. Weigh about two twenty five to two thirty. A little, a little. Bit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last guy said two twenty five, two thirty. Just say two thirty. It's fine. Two thirty. A solid two thirty. We love it. What's your um zodiac sign? I'm a Leo. Leo in the house. Don't hurt me. All right. Are you team top, bottom, or verse? Uh, verse. Verse. Okay. And what type of work do you do, Marvin? I am a mortgage loan consultant. A mortgage loan consultant? Yeah. Or a risk okay, so what does your day-to-day -day at work look like? Um, calling people, trying to get a mortgage set up for them, seeing if they qualify, going through their income, assets, credit, being a little nosy. <laughs> <laughs> so you wanted a credit score, how much they made. Yep, yep. Yeah. Bank statement. Doing it. Okay, what's your Instagram handle? And Jonathan is the one who taught me to say handle and yes. not screen name. <laughs> I'm old school, but it's not the 90s. Um, it's uh, Manly, M-A-N-L-E-Y underscore Quinn, Q as in Quebec, U-I-N-N. -N. All right, you all, this is Marvin, AKA MJ. He lives in Charlotte. He's 31, right? Yeah. He's 5'11", 230 pounds. Yep. He's a Leo, team first, mm -hmm. and he's a mortgage loan consultant. Tell us what type of guy are you looking for tonight? Um, God, spontaneous, adventurous, um, can make me laugh, but can accept me for me. I think that's important. I think that I am mean, weird, and I own that, and so you have to kind of accept that. Uh, ambitious, goal-oriented, family-oriented. Um, yeah, that's about it. Okay. Yeah. What makes you a good catch? Uh, I think that I'm all those things, and I'm very loyal. So when I find someone I like, 
can focus on pretty heavy and want to build and grow, have a life. I'm pretty old school. I'm pretty traditional when it comes to dating. So mm -hmm. a little weird for gays, I feel like. Um, but I have that long-term hetero traditional mindset when it comes to dating. So the, the gays can be conservative as well. Yeah, some, not a lot from my experience. So hopefully you can change that. <laughs> They are filling your nails over here, um, MJ. Oh, I know. Thing. I've been, and you know what? I've been doing my nails since before it was cool. I was the cornball. I was like 18. I'm going to paint my nails black and be a rock star. So, my uh, yes, for the rock star. Okay, okay. Um, question. So do you want to get married? Do you want children? Yes, yes, yes. And yes. I think it's very important. So I say that off the gate. It's one of the things that I kind of thrive on. Um, so kids, just two, perhaps twins or a boy to girl or however the Lord see fit, but yes. <laughs> okay, twins in the house. Now, does a guy have to live in Charlotte? Uh, no, I'm open. Okay, so we're like Atlanta, D.C.? Um, D.C., Atlanta, Philly, I love Philly, Colorado, mm -hmm. Tennessee, you name it, I'm open. I like to okay. Try. What's a good age range for you? I would say 30 to 50. 30 to 50. Whoa. You're I'm 31. Old, but I like them older, so I'm out of post. Okay, okay. Now, um, do you prefer white, black, Hispanic, Latino, Asian? What do you like? Um, I'm open. Love comes how it comes, so I won't pay attention to the race. Okay. Now, what are your thoughts? You said you're conservative. What are your thoughts about monogamy, open relationships? Um, not. I'm not here for it. Um, I do believe just one love, one person. And I think there's mm -hmm. folks out in the world who want that, that if that's something you want, you can find someone that wants that too. I'm just not Monogamy is out there and it works for some guys. Yes, yes it does. It does. It works. Door box that I don't care to open. Um, mm -hmm. I think there's too much that can come with that. So Yep. Jonathan, you ready for to shoot your um, questions over to Mr. MJ? Sure. Um, so the first one, basic question. So like, what was your wildest experience using a dating app? Whether that was somebody said to you or meeting up with somebody and something happened. Oh God, I think the wildest one, the wildest one, someone said that I was like very ugly and that they were gonna come beat me up. And, For being and, ugly? Yeah, come beat me up because I was so <laughs> ugly. And I was just like, oh damn. Well, I mean, I know I'm not the greatest per se, but I thought that was pretty harsh. And then I didn't know if I knew the person was like somebody I knew or, what not? So um, it was a little disturbing and just weird. So to me, that was one of the craziest things that I've seen on a dating app. I think everything else I'm pretty much used to after years. Did they know where you live? Like, had y'all gotten that? Oh, okay. I don't think they do where I live. I think they were oh, just a okay. young kid, you know, how the people do. But I thought it was strange. Just... So how many dating apps do you currently have and use? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> my, my, my mom, bro, she was like, well, if you pay for a dating app, sometimes it's a better experience. So I just recently got on Match and eHarmony, um, oh. thinking I would try a different caliber of men and see how that goes. Um, I, I just deleted Tinder. I just deleted Jack. Those I don't stay on very long. They annoy me after a few days. So that's very good because, like, Tint or Jack, like, Jack and eHarmony, it's like two totally different type of worlds. Oh, yeah. So it's like, how how do you, are you the same person on Jack that you are on Match or eHarmony? Yes. That's a good question. Yes. Okay. Yes. One thing that I thrive on is being myself, period. Because um, mm -hmm. I want the person who I am looking for to accept me for me. And if I'm giving off one thing or another that's different, um, then it, it, it ruins the experience to me. I think that visually looking at me if you see a picture of me you're going to think maybe hyper masculine maybe you know something that i'm not once you mm -hmm. talk if we express it on how i am who i am and what i kind of thrive on so i'm the same regardless well just a little fyi um eHarmony back in the mm -hmm. day they didn't take gays they got sued for that so just a little tidbit if you're giving them your money but uh <laughs> it's the shade to the other app <laughs> <laughs> no no shade just fact that's all just fact <laughs> try B L K. Try B L K. You looking for something? Yeah, just try. Okay. You definitely should download B L K. Use the app. I mean, use the link in my profile because if you do that, Crazy. ten dollars will go towards a nonprofit here in Atlanta. I want to support that, so I will download. Yeah, definitely, definitely. All right, I got some spicy questions for you, MJ. 
All righty. Do you own any nudes? Yeah. And if so, what body parts and do you send those on apps? Mm. Uh, yes, yes. Yes, I think in 2022, in 2022, you know, I think that we we all have them. They're there. I take them for fun. Um, they are out there, so it is. A is, is it is it front, back, in between? Uh, uh, mostly front. I don't really like <laughs> my butt. But should be showing it like that. Um, <laughs> so you so you show a, so you showing the um, eggplant, huh? Yes, and considering the fact that I do like masturbation, I am like a big baiter. It's just the one thing that is, you know, is always there to yeah. It brings the boys to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let me see, let me see. Oh, describe, have you ever hooked up with a guy off a dating app? I would hope so. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> and you know what, I hate to say, like, if I have, and I'm, I'm going to say I have. I'm gonna say I have. You want you don't if you don't know who will know. It's been so long though. We're looking like ten plus years. Um, mm. Yes, but I, if I go deeper into things, you guys probably think I'm weird. But um, yes, it's like oh. yes. Okay, okay. So you describe your best hookup experience. So my best hookup experiences have been dates sessions where I simply link up with a guy mm. to just masturbate. I think there's a bond that we have as men that only we can experience. So those sessions have always been, you know, the oral and, and the actual penetration is great. I typically don't like to do that unless I'm exclusively with someone because I'm a little territorial. But a masturbation session is definitely, I've had a great experience with that. Just very verbal, very passionate, very hot, sweaty, and all that great jazz. Yeah. Okay for the masturbation yeah. session, all right? <laughs> if you have a spicy question for MJ, put a red pepper, ask your question. <laughs> Let's see. Actually, we're going to keep it moving because I want to get some more people on here. All right. This is MJ. He's in Charlotte. He's 31, 5'11", 230 pounds. Yes. He's a Leo, team first. He's a mortgage loan consultant. He's open to dating a guy who lives anywhere um, he's open to getting married. He wants kids, sp specifically twins, you know, good age range, um, open to race. Um, he's into monogamy. He wants one guy. You know, it's been a while since he's hooked up on the dating apps, but you will get nudes sent to you if you do it the right way with MJ. All right. MJ, tell us your Instagram handle, please. Uh, so it's Manly, M as in Mike, A N as in November, L E Y. Underscore Quinn, that's Q as in Quebec, U I N as in November, it is in November. <laughs> Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Go on some dates, keep us posted, download um, the BLK dating app. $10 will go towards a um, nonprofit, but use the link in my profile. All right, we'll do, we'll do. Thank you, man. <laughs> All right, good night. All right. All right, let's keep it going. Let's bring on some more guys. Let's see. Jonathan, you like that? I did. I just left Charlotte this morning. Oh, oh nice. That's We're going to try down. Colin again. Colin, let's see if you're ready, Colin. Come on, Colin. Let's see. Let's see if he updated his app, if he's ready. <clears throat> if he's not ready, we will go to someone else because I want to get everybody. <clears throat> yes, Jonathan All right. is single. Oh, I'm by the way. Joseph, let's go to Joseph. <clears throat> let's see. Colin, you need to update your app. For some reason, I click on it and you're not accepting. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hello. How you doing? I am excellent. How are you? Great. You must be at work. I am. <laughs> How do you think I can tell? <laughs> because I have to <laughs> It's the people who mask down like here. <laughs> All right. What, tell us your name again. So my name is Joseph. Pronouns are they, them. Okay, pronouns. All right, all right. <laughs> Where do you live, Joseph? I live in Washington, D.C. D.C. in the house. How old are you? I am 36. 36. All right. How tall are you and about how much do you weigh? 
I'm about 5'9", and I'm a solid 200. 200. Yes, we're being solid tonight. Tonight is for the solid guys, Jonathan. I see. <laughs> That's going to be the theme, all right? <laughs> all right, so what's your zodiac sign? I am a Cancer sun, I am a Virgo moon, and I am a Capricorn rising. So that makes you a what? <laughs> <laughs> what month? What's your birthday? <laughs> so, so okay, so like the basic sign that everybody knows, so like the sun sign, I'm a Cancer. Was born sun in July. sign. So I need to ask people, what is your sun sign? Cancer. Okay, Cancer. All right. Now, are you team top, bottom, or verse? I am team bottom. Team bottom in the house. All right, all right. Now, what type of work do you do? Because I don't want you to get fired while you're there. I shouldn't get fired. There's nothing necessarily identifying my agency. But I work as a house monitor at a transitional home that specializes in um, providing some transitional housing for LGBTQ youth between the ages of 16 and 24. Okay, okay. So if we were to find that in D.C., we probably can find out exactly what agency that is, right? <laughs> well, no, because there's actually a couple. Okay, so, okay. But you're a house monitor for transitional house for LGBT youth. Tell us, um, what is your Instagram handle? My Instagram handle is at Hey Miss Joseph. So that is all one word. And that is H E Y M I S S J O S E P H. You said it's Hey Miss Joseph, but yes. what are your pronouns? And my pronouns are they, them. You they and right? them. Okay, okay, okay. Um, this is Joseph. Joseph is in DC, 36, 5'9, 200 pounds, solid cancer. Team Bottom and works in the housing industry as a transitional um, house monitor, right? Right? Yes. Joseph, tell us what type of, who you looking for? Guys, girls, both. What, what you looking for? So I would definitely say that I am looking for guys, definitely looking for men. Okay. Um, I would say, so I'm a big pop culture person. So just some of my celebrity crushes, you know, Ty Lepley, Lil Murder from. Um, P Valley, um, Drake, so definitely kind of like pretty fuck boy um, is definitely what we're looking for. <laughs> okay, they like the pretty fuck boys over there. All right, what makes you a good catch? I would say what makes me a good catch. Um, I'm well read. Um, I'm loyal. Um, I'm not just nice, but I'm kind. Um, I'm very attentive. I'm a good listener, and I really like to pay attention to my partner. Oh, nice. It's nice. What's the longest relationship you've been in, Joseph? I have never been in a relationship. Like, ever, ever? Like, ever, 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 mm. ever, ever. Have you dated? Like, what's the longest you've dated a guy? Like, really kind of like spot things, kind of like maybe we'll go out on a date. So this is... Kind of like me diving in the deep end. I really don't have a lot of experience with these type of things. Okay, so yeah, so you put yourself out there. What do you think it is? Like, <clears throat> why? Like, you haven't like gone on multiple dates with a, a guy and it has turned into something. So I really, I'm still working on like confidence and like self esteem issues, especially like around how I physically look. So mm -hmm. that's like been like a lifelong battle for me. And because mm -hmm. I don't necessarily have that confidence, I don't always, you know, go out and put myself out there. Okay. So listen, you know, I'm a dating coach. We definitely need to talk. I can help you with that. Okay. Yes. Yep. I found out about you through surface level. So yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's the podcast um, out of New York that I was on two weeks ago. Yep. Yep, yeah, yep. I went to Howard with them, so, yeah. Oh, that's amazing, amazing. Okay, okay, so, yeah, you really haven't dated before, and you're looking to really experience dating long-term and not just, like, a one-shot date, right? Yeah, so, like, considering the fact that, you know, when I do find a relationship, it would be my first relationship, so I'm not necessarily looking for marriage with my first relationship, mm -hmm. um, but definitely someone that I can kick it with, um, definitely someone that I can get to know on a more routine basis. Um, and for me, monogamy isn't the only option. Okay. Um, for me, it's just important that if I'm going to be in a relationship with someone, like we're each other's safe harbor. 
Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. we can launch out and we can do whatever we want to do, mm -hmm. but like, we always have each other to come back to and we always come back to each other in a way that's honest, in a way that's transparent, and in a way that respects and honors each other. I love that. I love that. Now, do you want to get married? Do you want to have children? Well, at a time I would have, but now I'm thinking not so much because it's kind of mm -hmm. like I'm 37. And it's kind of mm -hmm. like, I still kind of like want to have some time where like I live alone mm -hmm. and I know what it's like to like be on my own. So I'm not looking to jump into marriage. And if I were, it would kind of like be more like an Oprah Stedman situation. Mm -hmm. Just kind of like, we going to rock out and we're going we to be together. But if we ever grow out of this thing, we can just make a nice clean cut. Um, so how long have you been living alone? I haven't been living alone. That's what I'm saying. I, I actually want to be able to achieve that for myself. Before. Who do you live with now? So right now, like with a lot of people in D.C., so like I house share. Um, so like I rent a room in a house and we kind of all just share kind of like the responsibilities as far as like utilities and things like that. Ah, how many people live in the house? So for me, it's me and then it's three other people. Ah, so yeah, so that could be hard with dating if you have that many people in the house. Like you really can't, as they say, well, <laughs> you can't have company. If it's that well, many people. Also, like, you definitely allow each other to have company. So, like, that's not so much an issue. Mm -hmm. yeah. But for, 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 for me, I bring it up to where it's kind of like, I don't want it to be where I go from, like, that situation of, like, house sharing with people to, like, being married with someone, living in the same house with someone. I would actually like to be able to achieve mm -hmm. and know what it's like just to, like, live on my own and have my own space for a while. Definitely get that. Like, and it sounds like you're working towards achieving that goal of, you know, being independent, having your own space, and then getting back out there and dating. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, as far as kids, kids are like a nice idea in theory, but like, that's a lot of responsibility. Um, Because basically, you're signing on to shape a human being to go out into the world. Um, And I don't necessarily know if I want that level of responsibility. It's enough for me to remember to water my plants on a frequent schedule. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I water I my plants. <clears throat> I remember. I water my plants. <laughs> well, I don't know if I could take on another human being. Can I step in? I just have three quick questions to move it along. One, you said 16 to 24. Is that the place that you're at right now? The 16 to 24 year old? So as far as the youth that I work yeah. with, yes. Okay, cool. Well, so the 18 to 24 year olds to download BLK, they can find a whole world of possibility. But second of all, <laughs> um, you talked about something like, because you, it went left in my brain when you talk about like your confidence and that's why you haven't dated anybody. So I'm curious as to, is it, do you find it easier for you to meet people in person? And I know it's not easy either way because you mentioned the confidence to meet people in person through friends or is it more like an online thing? Like, do you feel dating apps help you in that or hurt you in that because it could be trolls on there so i almost feel like it hurts to a little bit because mm -hmm. of the trolls because like i'll definitely like my experience with dating apps has definitely been like okay there's some of that i'm not necessarily interested in so i just don't kind of acknowledge and then they come back with oh well you was ugly anyway this that and the third so kind of like i do see myself as someone who fares better like actually being at a bar and actually being able to like um interact with people in real time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i teach guys how to actually date on dating apps uh, you know, you got to DM me. I will, you know, set up a session, if, especially anybody who's watching. Like, dating apps are a great way for guys to meet, but you have to do it the right way. Some people just do it all the wrong way, right? Right. So I can teach you how to do that. Great. Now, what's a good age range for you that you would want to date? So I'm actually going to agree with the guy that was on before me. I think 30 to 50 would be a good range for me because I'm willing to go 10 years younger. I'm willing to go 10 years old. So 30 to 50, because you're 36, right? Yeah. So, okay. well, no. So then, it would, so I'm 36. So I'm willing to date as young as 26. And then I'm willing to date as old as, as 46. So yeah, round it oh. up 30 to 50. Okay. Um, what are your race preference? You prefer white, black, Hispanic, Latino, Asian? Yeah, I like my men like I like my coffee, strong and black. <laughs> um, so 
it's definitely my major first preference is black and then I am open to like Latino, Asian and men of color after that. Channing Tatum has caught my eye, so like a white person isn't necessarily like completely out of range. But what I prefer, I would prefer to date somebody black. Okay, okay. So, but you're you're thirty seven, right? Well, thirty six, but we'll be thirty seven in July. So yeah. So you're thirty six. Okay, okay, okay. Um, do now. What are your thoughts about like monogamy or open relationships? So I think monogamy is a great option on a menu of options. I don't mm. think monogamy is the end all be all. I don't think monogamy is the only way to be faithful. Um, I don't think that monogamy is the only way to practice fidelity. Um, I think being faithful and being fidel and f practicing fidelity and being loyal is more about honesty and transparency instead of saying, okay, you're the only person I'm going to have sex with forever and ever. Amen. Okay. Okay. So Jonathan asked two questions. Do you get one more? Jonathan, give him a, another dating question. Not so much dating, but just social media. Who do you follow on OnlyFans? And do you, well, do you, do you follow anybody on OnlyFans? I wonder who. So I don't, I don't do subscriptions, but I definitely have OnlyFans accounts that I follow on Twitter. So mm. I am a big Raheem Shabazz person. Um, I definitely enjoy um, Max Connor. Um, definitely enjoy Kyle Levine. So those are some of like my free Twitter. F definitely enjoy um, Mr. Cowley. So those are like some of my free <laughs> Twitter followers. <laughs> okay, so the popular ones. I got it. Okay. <laughs> Spicy questions. If you all have <laughs> spicy questions for um, Joseph, put a um, red pepper in the comment section and go ahead and put your question. I will ask your um, spicy question, okay? <laughs> um, what, Joseph, what is your like best hookup story off of a, hack, a, a dating app? So best hookup story, I will say, not an official dating app, but the dating app that a lot of people use, Facebook. Um, so, like, this dude that I met at church, saw him in, in church, at a church I was visiting in Brooklyn. Um, and then a couple of days later, um, and this was back in the day, because this is when they did a Kwanzaa celebration at the LGBT Center back in New York. So we met up there again, just started messaging back and forth on Facebook, um, did a date. Um, at the Applebee's on Nostrand Avenue in Bedford Stuyvesant, Brooklyn. So for my Brooklyn people that would remember that that <laughs> Applebee, um, ended up going back to his place. Um, yeah, um, I'm definitely Team DTF on the first date. So went back to his place. DTF. What tell what is what is DTF? Down to fuck. Oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so um, and I mean you know we just. This was before Netflix, so this was Law and Order and Chill. So started watching that, and it went from one two place to another, and definitely ended up enjoying it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, starfish. What are your thoughts about people sending starfish pictures? What are starfish pictures? <laughs> I've, I've never heard of that. <laughs> have you? Have you? Do you know what starfish is? I do know what a starfish is. When you turn it over, what do you? What does it look like? Oh, <laughs> I, I, if, if that's what you're into, I I personally don't do the rosebuds, but you know there are, there there are some people like that's their fetish and that's their thing. So you're not sitting those, not sitting those. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, you all. This is Joseph. Joseph is in D.C. Joseph is 36, will be 37 in July because he's a can because they are a cancer. Five nine, 200 pounds. Team Bottom works as a housing monitor, is looking for a great guy. You don't have to live in D.C. Um, really is trying to really learn how to date and get back out there wants a quality guy that he can be in a long-term relationship with. He's working to improve himself, find housing uh, by himself. So I think he's a great guy. Tell us your Instagram handle, um, Joseph. So once again, Instagram handle is Hey Miss Joseph. So you know how they say, Hey Miss Carter, Hey Miss Joseph. <laughs> and that is H-E-Y-M-I-S-S -S 
J O S E P H. Thanks for coming on the show. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye, Miss Bathem. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Please. Can that we speed it up one. a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> Got distracted. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. All right, let's see who is in the comment section. We will go to, let's see, JJ Yi. JJ, JJ, JJ. Yes. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Oh, um, let's see. <laughs> hello, hey. hello, hello. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I wasn't, tonight? I wasn't, oh. I switched the computer a little bit earlier and then I switched back. I just switched back. Sorry. Oh, nice. No worries. No worries. I just want to tell people who are watching, listen, if you download the BLK dating app, if you click on the link that's in my profile, that's on one of the posts I made recently, download their app for free tonight. Okay. You download it. They will donate $10 to a, a nonprofit aid service organization here in Atlanta. So, we got 365 people. I want everybody to download that. All right? Okay, okay. All right, you ready to get started? Tell us your name, buddy. Um, it's JJ. Um, well, it's actually more complex to pronounce, but let's say JJ. Unless I'm dating somebody, then he needs to learn my name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> let's what try it. it. Let's what try it. Is, what is it? It's, uh, it's actually Jia Jie. Say it one more time. The internet. I don't know. It's, is it me or is it? So, yeah, your Wi-Fi went out for a bit. S -s 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 pronounce your name. It's uh, Jia Jie. Okay, we're going with JJ. Every time you say your name, the Wi-Fi goes out. <laughs> Why is that? Are you doing that on purpose, <laughs> JJ? I, I don't know. In fact, it was it was a lot more smooth and the volume was okay, too. And then <laughs> all of a sudden, you come back. Um, the volume becomes small and everything. I don't know. What? I just want you to say your name. <laughs> <laughs> You've been drinking, JJ? Uh -oh. Have you been cocktailing? Have I been what? No, 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 I've not. Are you high? What is it? Uh? <laughs> well, we see you. <laughs> I think this is just the. Uh, I think it's just the um, the color of the light, or so it kind of shows my face with this color. Maybe I don't know. I have not been doing that. Okay, that. okay, okay. So it's it's JJ, but we were trying to get the correct pronunciation of your name. We want you to say it. Oh, I did. I guess it's the Wi-Fi coming out. It's Jia Jie. Oh. Jia? Jie. Jie. Mm -hmm. It was actually pretty good. My country pretty Pittsburgh good. accent. <laughs> 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 Where do you live, JJ? Um, I live in Newark, New Jersey. I've met you before. <clears throat> we did. That's why I was like, I'm like, this is a familiar adding face. to the database thing. Yes, you are in my database. That's why I was like, this is a familiar face. Okay, so you're in Newark. And how old are you? Uh, 30. 30, all right. How and also, I'm pretty sure you pronounce it, you pronounce it wrong. It's Newark, not new work. Newark? <laughs> it's one word. Newark? <laughs> Newark? It's Newark, New Jersey. Lord, today. Okay. How tall are you and how much do you weigh? Uh, five eight and like one eighty. Okay, everybody's solid today. What's your zodiac sign? I don't remember. Taurus. Taurus. When's your birthday? April twenty seventh. April twenty seventh. Mm -hmm. I think that's a Taurus. Yes. Yes. Okay. And are you team top, bottom, or verse? This is gonna turn off everybody, but. I, I don't really know. And chances are I don't really like it that much. You don't like Which penetration? One? Not much, yeah. Potentially. Okay. So we call those a side. Jonathan, you ever heard of a side? I'm all the way confused, but no, I, I haven't heard of a side. So guys who don't like penetration, they just like <laughs> doing like oral and maybe 
jerking off masturbation. Mm -hmm. They're called sides. They don't like penetration. Okay. So learn the learn something today. I did. So Next you, time we'll say that. You're a side. S I D E. <laughs> 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 we learn something new. Okay. Learn something teaching me how to pronounce things. Good. I'm teaching you your sexual position. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What um what you what type of work do you do? Um, I'm a software engineer. Software engineer. All right. And tell us your Instagram handle, please. <clears throat> it's a life underscore of underscore uh, my name J J J. I spells J as jelly, I as ice cream, A as apple, J as jelly, I as ice cream, E as, give me a word. Edgar, <laughs> Edgar, Edgar. Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so life oh. of J-I-A-J-I-E, with the underscore in between words. Hmm. Okay, okay. This is JJ in Newark. He is 30, 35, 8, 180 pounds, a tourist. Team side and is a software engineer. Tell us what type of guy are you looking for tonight? Um, well, I mean, um, communicative, not uh, not insecure. Sorry, secure. Um, I do hope I do hope I'm I'm impressive about something about that person. Mm -hmm. um, like hardworking side of things, have a plan on on their life. Um, want to have kids that's very very important mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. i broke up with my ex because of that everything else was great so you want so, children okay okay um do you want to get married yes absolutely okay what's a good age range for you uh 25 to 35 okay does the guy have to live in newark uh or nearby like new york is fine okay now, do you prefer black, white, Hispanic, Asian, Latino guys? What do you like? I like black people. You like black guys? Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Learn from you to say, to say that. <laughs> BLK. Okay, that's a dating app you should try. Have you ever tried it before? I have not. Download it tonight, bruh. Download it tonight. Okay. Click on the link oh. in my profile, download it, make yourself a profile, okay? I would do that. You'll get some BLK guys, okay? <laughs> now, what are your thoughts about monogamy or open relationships? Well, especially if I'm side, then, um, then I think people should get what they want somewhere else. Okay, so you're open to open relationship, so you can go get some D or some cakes from somebody else. Right, right. Like, uh, I just don't think people can find the perfect match. People may have fetishes and mm -hmm. um, just saying, like, because they didn't meet, they have to abandon all of that for the for the rest of their life. I don't think that's fair. So that would be torture. <laughs> 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 so, um, JJ, what is your ethnicity? Mm -hmm. I'm Asian. Okay. I'm right. Chinese. Okay, Chinese. Okay. Um, Jonathan, you got questions for him? I do. So I'm glad you asked the ethnicity question. So being Asian, and I used to work at Grindr, so like I know all the things like Asians here on, I'm sure you're on gay dating apps, aren't you? Like, are you? Um, I, are, wait, are you were saying right now or, or you, just in general? In general, are you in on past. dating apps? Yeah. Okay. It's a good. So like, have you experienced racism on these apps, being of Asian descent? Oh. Uh, I mean, no one said it in front of my face or in my face. Mm. So, no. Well, I mean, yeah, no. No one said anything in my face. Have you ever felt like you were, like, fetishized on any of the apps? Uh, not in my experience. Okay. okay. Now, which, oh. which apps are you on? I'm curious, in general. Um. Well, like right now, it's just grinder. But uh, when Ooh. I was looking for a relationship, well, sorry, like past my, uh, pre sorry, I'm saying I'm saying that with grammar mistakes. But beef, like when I was looking for my past relationship, that one I broke up with, um, it was on Tinder, and the one before that was OK Cupid. Mm -hmm. But usually, it's kind of just sign up for every like a few of those, so it's not. Uh, it's just this one. So happened. 
to meet my ex like that. But um, kind of like sign up for multiple of them. Now, the one that you're on right now, you mentioned Grinder. Do you feel like it's more like right now, immediate hookup? Or do you, are you meeting people to go on yes. dates? Okay. I, I, think, okay. I, I think that's what Grinder's is for. <laughs> um, also, partially, people don't put information on Grinder. Right? Mm. Like people don't put, um, is your let's say. on your profile? Say that again? Is your picture on your profile? Yes. Um, cool. Like your face picture? Um, well, well, I'm, I'm more referring to, yes, yes. I actually don't put nude on Grindr. <laughs> um, I also taught at school uh, for six months, but for that six months, I didn't even put my face <laughs> on Grindr. I just kind of like, what if I see my student, like where, where, where I'm texting my student, be like, hey, like, okay, like no no so did you ever um, link up with the student <laughs> while you were working there or after you did you ever link up with the student no mm. Mm. so I, I think so here's my here's my philosophy i don't think and i work with a lot of guys who are like teachers lawyers all that type of stuff i don't think there's anything to be ashamed of by putting your face picture on a dating app like your face picture and saying you're looking for love to date now, if you got your, you know, your, your nudes out there and all that type of stuff, then I can get like where you might be like, I don't want my colleagues or anybody else to see it. But I don't, you know, I don't get why guys are shameful that they're looking for love and they're single if they do it the right way. But we are talking about grinder. We are talking about, <laughs> we're, we're talking about <laughs> yes, we're talking about all dating apps. People fall in love from meeting off of dating apps, including BLK, Grinder, and Jet. Hmm. And Growler <laughs> and Scruff and, and all of them. I think it's all about how you put your face picture out there, talk about who you are, what you're looking for. It's just like Facebook. It can be. It can be just like other social media. I guess you're right. So I, I think for me, because it was six months, I only teach one semester. Um, mm -hmm. So I was more like, I didn't have to think through and it's not going to be a long-term thing. So after the six months, I can get back to my normal. Um, so like at the moment, I was just like, whatever. I just don't have to put it on there. But if it's going to be a long-term thing, I might have to rethink about it, right? Because I can't not, not on it like um, all the time. <laughs> okay okay all right let's move on to the spicy questions if you have a spicy question for jj go ahead and put a red pepper there and put your question and we will ask your spicy question okay jj random spicy question okay do you have any nudes of yourself and which body parts and do you ever send those on dating apps um, I never send them and I don't take nude photos, but I do have half. Well, okay. Really? JK? Like I have the photos to the, in the back or, or that kind of like, I don't know. I don't know how to say that. It's like kind of nude. I, I even post those photos on Instagram, but it's not like nude. You have nude. shots. Um, it's like, I try to like, it's professionally taken um and like edited so it's not like a um seducive supposedly okay. not i, I just said nude you got you got pictures of your ass on there and you said those something. basically what are your private pictures on grinder <laughs> like it doesn't have the front that's for sure so you do got some ass <laughs> pics out there I, even the back it's supposed to be from the side i cannot see my asshole okay so no starfish <laughs> No. So you can think about it like this. It's like the photo that can be on Instagram and wouldn't be taken down. That's the okay. level. Because it's classy, it's tasteful, but it's it's a news. Okay, okay. okay. Um, someone, someone wants to know, do you... I like, I like how you describe them. <laughs> someone wants to know, do you um do role play? Wait, say that again? Do you do role play? Uh, not really? No. Just a little bit. Mm. I, I'm not open to it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, y'all, this is JJ. JJ is in Newark. JJ is 35, 8, 180 pounds, team. 
um, Taurus and Team Psy works as a software engineer, is looking for one guy, but might be open to open relationship. He's open to different cities, prefers black guys. No, do you, I'm not open to different cities. It has to be nearby. It could be nearby. New York. So, like, no, New like... York. New York. My bad. My bad. My bad. Um, he seems like a great guy. You have to be open-minded. Um, and he takes tasteful nudes <laughs> that are artistic. Yes. Tell us your Instagram handle one more time, please. It's uh, life underscore off underscore and it's my name spells j-i-a-j-i-e thank you so much for coming on the show good to thank see you. you again have a good night you too <laughs> all right jonathan how much longer do i have you i'll do one more maybe two depending on how maybe one do. or two one or two we gotta <laughs> speed this up because i get bored like mid combo I can see your ADHD going all yeah, over right? the place. And I'm <laughs> <laughs> Jumping out of your skin. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to tell you all again real quick. Jonathan is with BLK, the number one dating app for black singles. He's our sponsor, our special guest tonight. If you, you definitely should download their dating app. If you use the link that's in my profile, we're going to donate $10 to an aid service organization. So definitely do that tonight. Yeah. I'm always happy to have sponsors. I appreciate Jonathan so much for being supportive and an amazing friend and colleague. Yes. And then also we're introducing live streaming next month and be okay. So it's an opportunity for you to be a content creator. Actually, you too, Lamont. You can do the same show. I got the shirt. I got the on, shirt. Yep. On be okay live and get paid for it and get monetization and, it's the same network as VLK, World Star Hip Hop, Tag, a bunch of other apps. So it's like a bigger platform too. So yeah, I'll tell you about that too. And then everybody okay. watching, make sure that you wait for VLK Live, I guess. But um, <laughs> love it, uh, love it. Oh. And and then one more promo: um, the shirt that I'm wearing that says Be "Black Love Is Different, Different World." Um, Urban Argyle. So on Instagram at Urban underscore Argyle, I think. Um, he designed the shirt, Asad. Thank you, Asad. He's watching. But um, it's a whole line of these from the BLK line that he did special for us. So, What's, what's the name of it again? Urban underscore Argyle. A-R-G-Y-L-E. I'm not a good speller. but uh, Urban Argyle. <laughs> Urban Argyle. <laughs> yep. Perfect, 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 perfect. All right, let's keep it going. Let's get um, somebody else on. I am going to go to, let's see to um let's go to philip 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 let's see if you are ready philip let's see let's see there's a lot of people in the queue hello hello what's up you were like on again? here before <laughs> you came on to ask a question right i did i asked the question last time okay perfect perfect well welcome back we're happy we got you is Ooh. it is it philip yeah yeah. Okay. I'm to make good you. Me good memory, man. <laughs> All right, Philip, where are you? Uh, in Tampa, Tampa, Florida. Tampa. Okay. Okay. And I'm are you ready for the questions? Uh oh, you got something going on with your your your, your, your... <laughs> Can you hear him? Is he frozen? You back? Idea. Yeah, my front. I have my phone on airplane mode, but a call still came through. That's my fault. Oh, no, no, no. Usually you got to put it like a do not disturb also. Oh, okay. Hold on yeah. a second. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we had two technicals in a row. <laughs> Listen, it always happens. It all, my bad, it all, my bad, no. my bad. I thought it was airplane mode. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, all right. So, Philip, you're in Tampa. Correct. Okay. Philip, how old are you? 40. 40? How yeah. tall are you? And how much do you weigh? Six one and a half, two forty seven. Okay. Tonight solid. is team solid. If you are skinny or a twink, apparently that's next week. Okay. <laughs> you gotta be solid, okay? Tonight. All right. Um, what's your zodiac sign? Cancer. Cancer? Okay. Are you team top, bottom, or verse? Top. Team top. Okay. No flexibility? No, nah, it's never happened. 
I'm good on that. <laughs> never happening. Well, folks. let me put it. Okay, okay. Let me back up. It's never happened before at all, right? I'm 100 percent top, but I also know in this lifestyle, you can't limit yourself in regards to sexual positions. Being that if I find somebody that is supposed to be the one, and he wants it, I'm not gonna be okay with him going out to get it somewhere else. So I'm gonna have to take some shots, bite the pillow, and eventually let it go. <laughs> but it's it's never happened at all. Okay, okay we're biting the pillow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we get it. We get it. All right. Uh, what type of work do you do, Philip? I'm a real estate broker. Real estate yeah. broker. Okay. And tell us your Instagram handle. <clears throat> Instagram handle is frozen backbone, frozen is spelled with a P-H. So P-H-R-O-Z-E-N underscore backbone, just how it sounds, B-A-C-K-B-O-N-E. Okay. What, 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 tell us the, the logic or the rationale behind this um, screen name, the handle, my bad. I'm um, ice cold. That's all that needs to be said. You welcome? Yeah. <laughs> Say no okay. More. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan. Pre appreciate that, Jonathan. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, you put it out there. It was, was kind of obvious. I Lamont put it out there asking what the significance was. You know, I can slide that in. <laughs> Thank you. All right, y'all. This is this is Philip. Philip is in Tampa. He is 40. He's 6'1, 247 pounds. He's a cancer team top. And he's a real estate broker. Um, tell us, what type of guy are you looking for tonight? Um, I think I'm really looking for somebody who is family oriented, uh, God fearing, um, takes care of themselves as far as goes to the gym. It's not really important. I think I used to live in this box where people had to be or look a certain way. And again, mm -hmm. with age comes wisdom. So like I'm open to your exterior. Um, it's more so about your character. Um, that's going to keep my attention per se. I think the most important thing for me is honesty and consistency. Because niggas mm. in my style are not consistent, and that's aggravating as hell. So here's the thing. I think people aren't consistent because they're not really into the guy. Like, I feel like if if there's a good connection, there's a good match, then guys become consistent. Um, mm. When guys aren't feeling it, that's when they start to be like, oh, I'm not going to start calling him. Yeah. So we got to find you a good match that works for you so he can be consistent with you. I'll accept that. Yeah, yeah. Now tell me, um, what makes you a good match? Like, what makes you a really good catch? Um, everything that I aspire to match with, I offer as well. Um, mm -hmm. I'm also, being a cancer, I have a, a big heart. I don't show it up front, right? People actually think I'm a mean dude. But um, once you break that barrier... I don't I'll... think you're a mean dude. You look like a big old teddy bear and soft on the inside. That's because I'm kind of tipsy and smiling, but that's not <laughs> the norm. <laughs> Um, but yeah, once you break through the shell, man, I'm actually the type of dude that'll give you the shirt off my back. So, um, mm -hmm. I always look out for people that are close to me, family, I mean, relationships, homies, everybody. Nice. Nice. Now, do you want to get married? Do you want to have children? Uh, I did not consider marriage until my last relationship. And now mm -hmm. I am open to the idea. Yes. So you'll be open to, to getting married. Now, what about children? Uh, I'm open to it, but the clock is ticking. I'm 40. Yeah, you, you yeah. 40. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. How, how long was that last relationship? It was a year and a half. It wasn't my longest, oh, but that one was a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Does the guy have to live in Tampa? No, I am open to everywhere. Again, you can't. I think w w in this lifestyle, the pool of people is only but so big. So as you put these filters on it, your pool gets smaller and smaller. So I can't mm -hmm. really limit where somebody lives at. Uh, so I'm open to it. Yeah, gay men are about like three, four percent of the U.S. population, so it's pretty small. So yeah, okay. Now, what do you prefer, white, black, Hispanic, Latino, Asian? Uh, I'd have to say I prefer black, and then Latino. I've never delved into white or Asian. Okay, okay. Now, what are your thoughts about like monogamy or open relationships? I'm not the open type of dude. Um, just mm -hmm. like I said, if I've never bottomed before, if I if that's the trigger point to make sure he's happy at home, then okay, because I'm not down for anything open. Okay, okay. You're going to make it work at home. <sighs> <sighs> Deep sigh. <laughs> <laughs> and the pillow. Jonathan, yeah. you got questions for Philip? So, Philip, you've been on dating apps before, I'm assuming. Yes. Based on this whole you that you just presented, 
what does your description of you, what does your profile say? Like what um, are the key beats in it? My profile in some way, shape or form tells them not to come at me sideways. It also says that I know what I bring to the table. Um, and like, for instance, I have Jack, right? And we all know the premise of Jack, like what most people use the app for. Do we? I don't know. I, I'm not familiar. In my opinion, the premise that people mostly use Jack for is for the quick link up, dig down, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. um, younger Phil might have been in that like group, but if somebody sends me pictures off the bat, like I'm blocking them or not paying it any attention because I'm not, I'm not like I'm searching for something else. Mm -hmm. So when you meet up with people from a dating app, you've had conversations, I'm assuming, prior to the link up. Like yeah, it's been a while. Now. It's been a while since I linked up with somebody. Um, but yes, okay. there would be, I take babe, so conversations on the app, on the phone, FaceTime, so I know who I'm talking to. Then I'm going to go out. Oh, and, okay. Yeah. That's okay. That's that's okay. That's okay. All right. I'm not mad at that. Right. I have no I have no more questions. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Jonathan, He's giving Oprah you? over here. This is my co-host over here, Oprah. <laughs> I, just, I just turned 39 two weeks ago. Happy to be late there. Thank you. All right, I'm, spicy I'm questions. Ready. If you all have spicy questions for Phila, go ahead and put a red pepper in the comment section. Let's make these spicy questions really good for Philip, okay? We're going to make him blush, okay? He's already nervous and not looking at us in the camera. Let's make him even more nervous, okay? <laughs> Yo, all right. <laughs> He's like, let me go ahead and have a sip. My cup almost <laughs> empty too, bro. Go refill, ahead. refill. <laughs> all right, Joseph. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, not Joseph. Philip. Do you have any nudes? And if you do, what nudes do you have? And do you send them? Yes, I do have nudes. Um, I've become more confident with my exterior shell where there are full body. It used to be just be of my dick. But now I've got full body and the dick. Um, and it depends on if you've passed those tests to see if I'll send it. OK, OK. Um, they want to know if you're oral. And if so, how? Uh, kissing is my favorite thing to do if I'm feeling an individual, so that is considered oral. Um, in regards to giving it, um, I hope my sisters aren't watching. Yes, uh, I will. Uh, and yes, I definitely receive as well. Damn, my cheeks, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. They want to know if you're hairy or smooth. Smooth. Well, I cut it down. It's cut down. Oh, Lord. Uh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been we just got flash okay <laughs> now um what was, it, what was this question oh are you into public play uh no i've only done public let me stop twice once in the car and once in a hotel stairwell so that's as public as it's got all right all right you all this is philip he is lighting it up over there he is in Tampa. He's 46 one, 247 pounds. He's a cancer, team top. He's a real estate broker. Um, he's looking for a guy who could live anywhere, not limited to Tampa. He's looking for one guy. He's into monogamy. Preferred. <laughs> so, somebody said, 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 sorry. I just what? looked at the comment. Somebody said I'm flashing Jonathan. <laughs> You flash 400 people. That's who you That's flash. Okay. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Go ahead. Now, you said you prefer black guys or you're open to other races? Uh, black or Latino. Black or Latino. Um, he um, seems like a great guy. He's done the work to be in a relationship. Um, and he will do what he can to keep his man, even if it means biting a pillow. Um, Damn. Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us your Instagram handle, please. Frozen backbone, frozen spell with a P H. So P H R O Z E N underscore B A C K B O N E. Yep. Yeah. All your frat brothers are saying what's up in the comment section tonight. All Jonathan, the you wrote it down? I did. All right. <laughs> Shoot that shot. <laughs> oh, look at y'all. Have a uh, baby. <laughs> All right. Good night, Philip. See y'all later, bro. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. That was a good it was. One. It was a great one to end it on um, for me. <laughs> um...
this fire is hot as fuck in my back. It's some sweat behind. I was me. wondering if you burning up yeah, with that heat behind I am, you. I am. It was nice <laughs> in the beginning, but uh -uh. but um, <laughs> this was fun, Lamont. Thank you. I'm always here to support you. You know that we've gone back plenty of years. So um, yes, way back to time. Philly. I don't remember those years because it was only <laughs> twenties. <laughs> nope, don't remember those. But, well, um, <laughs> But yeah, this was fun. It was fun. The comments were great. Keep them going. I'm going to have it on in the background. It's not going to be on camera. So um, <laughs> everybody watching, click the link. It's more than just downloading the app. It's also supporting Lamont. And say the name of the charity again. Thrive SSS, which is a local aid service organization here in Atlanta. Yes. So when you download the app, you're supporting the community. And then if you don't get your shot on this, shoot your shot on there. Um, yes, on BLK. Yeah. Make Everybody sure you click on the link in my profile so that you can download it. Only the link yeah. in the profile or the pin link? B yes. What is the link? I can't read that far. BLK112? BLK112, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all have fun. I'm going to be listening. All right, so what are, you, are, you gonna, are you logging off or are you just turning your camera off? I'm, I'm logging off, but I'm going to watch as a viewer. Okay, perfect. And I'll, perfect. I'll still be commenting, though. I'll see you in the comment section. I'm going to have another cocktail, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> See you, Jonathan. Bye. All right. Oh, that was so much fun. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Let's keep it going. So if you're single and you want to come on live, click the request button. I will bring you on. All right, let's see. Let's see who's in the queue. I am going to go to, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. T Reed 87 ATL. T Reed, let's see. Let's see if he is ready. You all are keeping are like hilarious tonight. We got up to 400 tonight, so good job. Good job. Hello? Bruh. Are you asleep? Oh my goodness. Y'all crack me up. How you sleep on here? How you click the request button and you're falling asleep? <laughs> it's a show that boring that you <laughs> you knocked out. <gasps> Someone check on him, please, please. <laughs> All right, let's go next. I am going to go to, let's see, let's see. Devin, Devin, I'm coming to you. We have a lot of people. I'm going to try to keep it fast and go to everybody tonight. So if you're in the queue, I'm going to try to come to you tonight. We're going to keep it going. Devin, let's see if you are ready. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, what's going on? Listen, bro, the last guy was knocked out on camera. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> are we that boring tonight? <laughs> eh, no, nah, I'm just playing now. Wait a minute, let me bang on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hilarious, hilarious. Have you watched the show before? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you know how it works, right? Yeah, I know how it works, yeah. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so is it Devin? Yes, Devon. 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 I, make up? Yeah. Devon. I made up something new. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Devon, where do you live? I live in Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, okay. Um, how old are you? I am 29. 29. You're a baby over there. Yeah, I'll be 30 this year, so. <laughs> that, when, when's your birthday? June. June, so that makes you a Leo? No, I'm a Gemini. A, oh, Lord, you're a Gemini. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you're a good Gemini, right? Yeah, I'm a good Gemini. I'm a good Gemini. Okay, okay, okay. All right. How tall are you and about how much do you weigh? So I'm about I'm 5'11". I'm 250. Okay, 250. Tonight is solid night for all the brothers. There is no one who's under 180 pounds tonight, okay? No twinks tonight, okay? I'm joking. I'm joking. You can come <laughs> on if you, if you slim. I'm just joking. I don't want them coming at me talking about, oh, Lamont is shading us. No, okay? <laughs> There's always a thing, okay? Now, are you team top, bottom, or verse? I'm verse. Team verse. Okay. And what type of work do you do? So I'm my own business. I'm a photographer. And okay. I also work for Apple as well. Okay. Photographer, own your own business. What's the name of the business? 
Um, it's D Lamar Photography. D Lamar Photography. Check him out, you all. And you said you work for Apple. What do you do at um, Apple? I do technical support. Okay, okay. What's your Instagram handle? So it's bearded underscore complex 26. Spell that for these people. So it's B-E-A-R-D-E-D -E -E underscore complex C-O-M-P-L-E-X 26. All right, you all. This is Devin. Devin is in Raleigh, North Carolina. He is 29, 5'11", 250 pounds. He's a good Gemini. He's team verse. He owns his own photography com company, and he works um, as a tech with, you said Apple, right? Yep. I work All right. <laughs> Tell us, um, what type of guy are you looking for tonight? Um, someone that's not crazy. Someone that's look real laid back and chill, like to have fun. Because I'm the type of guy I like to have fun. I like to do spontaneous things as well, too. Um, someone that's family-oriented. Um and I love guys, so they got to love them. Like, I, so I'm a little flexible on that because I know not everybody is spiritual like that. So you know, it's like I'm a I'm a little flexible on that. So, yeah. But you you giving me like you you into the church? Like, are you a musician, drummer? I, I went to you know I grew up in the church. Mm -hmm. I grew up in the church and everything, mm -hmm. but um, it's not like end all be all for me, you know. Okay, but yeah. you definitely want someone who's spiritual. Yeah, just a little spiritual, you know. I meditate and everything like that too, you know. So, okay. What makes you a good catch? Um, because I feel like I'm a, my personality, um, and who I am as a person. I'm a good person. I look out for everybody who look out for me, you know. Um, I just love. I got love for you know people just in general. That's that's all it is. Okay. Okay. When when was your last relationship, um, Devin? <clears throat> that was about seven years ago. <laughs> like relationship seven years ago that's a yeah. long time yeah it was seven years ago why, why 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 so long um a few things happened in my life i just wanted to focus on me and i was having stuff that was going on with my family so i was more focused on me and my family pretty much than oh. anything else and um i was date i mean i've dated but mm -hmm. just really haven't found anybody that's was like really worth me like okay yeah i really want to be with you so. yeah well i think that makes sense if you have to focus on family and yourself that's yeah. smart so before you just you know get into relationship again you gotta work on yourself i think that's amazing yeah 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 okay now do you want to get married do you want to have children um yeah i definitely want to get married um children is definitely on the table i love kids um mm -hmm. I have like god kids, I have nieces, I have nephews, so it's like love them. Okay. They said you're giving us Fred Hammond vibes tonight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. That's that's okay. that's a good okay. look. Okay, okay. Yes, yeah. Now what's a good age range for you, Devin? Um, so I'm I was gonna say twenty five, but my brother my little brother's twenty four, so I say about I mean, 25 to about, the most I would go to is 40. So 25 to 40, because you're 29. OK, yeah. OK. Now, does the guy have to live in Raleigh, or can he live somewhere else? No, nah, he doesn't have to live in Raleigh. Um, as long as we can both do what we need to do to see each other, I mean, I'm willing to work with you. OK, OK. Um, do you prefer white, black, Hispanic, Latino, Asian? Uh, I prefer black. I could possibly do Latino. Um, mm -hmm can't really go with the white guys like that no offense but that's just okay. so you prefer black or latino okay yeah. now um what are your thoughts about like monogamy open relationships agreements um monogamous for me um i've done the open relationship before mm -hmm. and it didn't work out okay so yeah so it it didn't work out at all so but for me now uh, definitely monogamous. So okay, okay, I'm cracking up over here. They're like they that wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Brad Hammond lyrics over here for me. Yeah, I see. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I got some questions for you. Okay. Okay. Now, when you meet a guy off of a dating app, right? Okay. Do you do you meet him at your place, his place, or in public? 
So it just depends on what we're doing. Like, that's the thing. Like, if we're going out, like, if it's a date, I would prefer to meet them mm -hmm. wherever we're going. Mm -hmm. I would okay, now, I if would, it's a hookup, where y'all meeting? I mean, just depends. Um, I would prefer you to come to my house before I go to yours, because... I know where all my weapons and stuff is. If I know you're gonna get crazy, so that's that's just what it is. So you're like, if you cut up, I know where my gun is. Oh, exactly. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Um. When do you when you meet a guy on the app? When do you exchange your telephone number? Um. Normally, after we talk for a little while, like um, like when I say talk after a little while, like we have to be talking for at least. Maybe a, I give it to him about a couple of days because mm -hmm. I feel like I got to know you a little bit. So mm -hmm. then my phone number and I could give it to you. But I mean, if you get out of line, I could just block you and I'm good to go. I <laughs> right, just, right. I, I could just change my number altogether. So <laughs> here's a tip get a Google number. Oh, I got that. Okay, That's there you go. Give the dates the Google number. <laughs> That's what I give out and I still block them if they ask. <laughs> All right, spicy questions. If you have a spicy question for Devin, go ahead and put a red pepper. I would love to ask your spicy question, okay? Put a red pepper and you put your question there. All right. <laughs> Devin. Oh, goodness. Someone said, have you ever stuck two at a time? What, suck two dicks at a time? No. Yes. <laughs> no, no. Just one at a time. Like, that's too much. Not to his mouth at one, just one at a time. Okay, okay. <laughs> do you have any nudes? And if you do, um, of what body parts? And do you send those on dating apps? I, I have nudes. Um, they're my front and my back. Um, I have sent them out on dating apps before, um, but I don't. I don't really do them like that no more. But I have done them before. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> like yes. Um oh they want to know um the freakiest thing you've ever done. Um <laughs> Um I fucked two brothers at um two brothers at one time. Two like they were twins or like the same age or, or two brothers though. They're two brothers. Like they're two brothers. I, I, how'd that go down? We want details, please. So <laughs> so both of the brothers got down but and I got invited over by the other brother and the other brother walked in on this fucking and he just joined in with this like was he touching his brother or were they no. both touching you he didn't touch his brother he didn't touch his brother no what, 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 who, who was bottoming who was topping so the one of the brothers was the bottom the, me and the other brother, we were, both of us was versa. We was, like, taking turns with each other. And I was fucking and, brother. That, that, this sounds like a porn on Twitter yeah. or somewhere. Yeah. 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 Brother's yeah. going well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that what y'all doing in Raleigh? <laughs> no. Nah, I wasn't even living in Raleigh when I did this, though. That's the thing. I was living in D.C. when that happened, so... I, I'm gonna tell you, Devin, you got set up, okay? Oh, oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I mean, but I was kind of, I was kind of drunk anyway, so <laughs> it didn't. Matter. Were they hot at least? <laughs> to my standards, they definitely was. <laughs> okay, well, there you go, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's the freaky Fred Hammond for me, okay? <laughs> yeah, see, come on, man. <laughs> all right, you all. This is that? Devin. De Devin is in Raleigh. He is 29, 5'11, 250 pounds. He's a Gemini team verse. He owns his own photography company, also is a tech at Apple. He's place. looking for a guy who lives kind of like anywhere he's open to traveling, prefers black or Latino guys around his age. Um, he's looking for one guy. And apparently he is a ball of fun. Okay. Like and that. You can surprise them with your brother. <laughs> no, you can't do that no more. No, you can't do that no more. <laughs> no more. He's not being set up for the okie doke. <laughs> hey, fun, fun things. Oh, all right. Tell us your Instagram handle one more time. So 
So it's bearded underscore complex 26. All right. Thanks for coming on. Go on some dates and keep me posted, okay? I will do that. All right. Good night. Good night. All right. Good night. All right, y'all. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Who's next in the queue? I am going to go to, let's see, let's see. Sunflower Mook, I'm coming to you. Sunflower, sunflower, sunflower. Let me put my hat back on so I can, you know, do what the sponsors wanted. <laughs> wow. Hello, hello, hello. I How you think doing? I'm, so fast. I'm great. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great, great, great. You got to get, you get your camera together. I was actually cleaning my house. I didn't think that you were going to just like. Pick me next. Okay, I'll see. You click the request button. I'm going I did, for it. I thought it maybe was a line or something. There is a line. I'm trying to make sure I get new faces. Okay. I'm going to get some repeat people next. I'm going I'm to pull on some people who've been on here before next. Okay. All right, all right. Now, what, what's your name? My name is Malik. Malik, Malik. Where do you live, Malik? I live in Washington, D.C. D.C. in the house. Also, listen, I have a client that I am trying to match in D.C., so okay. if there's anybody who's watching that's in D.C., like you live in the DMV area, you're watching, and you're open to dating outside of your race, you need to DM me, okay? Okay? Any folks in the DMV area? Oh, and I got another client in Philly I've who's like 29. Yeah. <laughs> so I need some Philly folks. D.C. and Philly. All right, all right. So Malik, you are in D.C. How old are you? I am 28. 28. How tall are you and about how much do you weigh? I'm 6'2", 275. 275. Team solid tonight, okay? If you under 200 pounds, apparently this is not your night, okay? That's, that's what we're doing tonight. All right, what's your zodiac sign, Malik? I'm a Pisces. Pisces, okay. And are you team top, bottom, verse, side? Um, verse. Verse in the house. Okay. And what type of work do you do, Malik? Um, I work in property management. I also own a um, interior design business. Oh, no. Okay, nice, nice. What's the name of your company? It's called um, Home RX. Home RX. Okay. Tell us your Instagram handle, please. My Instagram handle is slay or salute, all one word. Spell that for the folks, okay? S L A Y. O R S L O S A L U T E, my bad. Try one more time for the folks. Come on. <laughs> S L A Y O R S A L U T E. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so well, while I'm introducing you, I would love for you to fix your camera so you're kind of facing down and have the light in your face. Okay? okay. Get some more comfortable. So, because it, it's all the movement, which is making people dizzy, okay? I'm sorry. All right, you all. This is Malik. Malik is in D.C. He is 28, 6'2", 275 pounds. He's a Pisces team verse. He works in property management and has an interior design company. Malik, tell us what type of guy are you looking for tonight? Um, I just like intelligent men. Um. Mm -hmm. Typically a bit older. Mm -hmm. You say a bit older, like what's the oldest? The oldest. I would say like 45. 45. Okay. Because you're 28. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, I just like to have I'm pretty spontaneous and <laughs> I like to have a good time. I like to be out in nature and do things. Um I don't know. I'm a vibe. Is he a vibe? You're a vibe. Your whole vibe. I just want a vibe. <laughs> okay. Now, what makes you a good catch? I think um, I'm a good catch. I'm young. I'm obviously beautiful. <laughs> um, I have my own. Um, I'm open-minded. Mm -hmm. A learner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. They said they can see the dimples under the beard. Okay. They in there. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you want to get married? Do you want to have children? To get married, I'm not sure about kids right now, but okay. I can compromise. 
Okay. Okay. So not sure about kids. Um, does a guy have to live in the DMV area? I would prefer if he did. I like a lot of attention. Okay. Okay. I would love for someone to come on and ask Malik a question. So if you want to ask Malik a question, wave your hand in the comment section and say, bring me on. I'll bring you on so you can ask him a question. Okay. Let's make it a good question. Somebody, please. All right. Um, do you, what race do you prefer? Um, I, I don't care. Oh, that's it. Open to different races. Um, and you said the age range up to 45. Does it, you said doesn't have to live in DC. Um, what are your thoughts about monogamy, open relationships, agreements? You said, um, monogamy is not, um, I guess it's preferred, but not necessary. Okay, prefer, but that's okay. Somebody wants to know, what are your deal breakers? Deal breakers, um, lazy, aggressive, or too aggressive. Um, and just unmotivated. unmotivated. I don't like people that don't want anything. Okay, so you definitely want an ambitious guy. Or, um, or if, like, he doesn't know what he wants and out of a relationship or... Okay. You, you you went out a little bit. Are you, are you there? I'm sorry. Yeah. There, I was getting a phone call. Okay, okay. Someone, I don't know, someone said, have, have you ever gotten into a fight at a club? <laughs> Somebody should mind their fucking business. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'm here. Just like you. Yeah, stop. Y'all stop being messy, okay? <laughs> All right, I got some questions for you, okay? Um, when you meet a guy, you do you meet guys on hookup apps? I don't have any apps. You don't, have you ever had an app? I have, an app? Yes. Okay. And when you did, did you meet them like in public, your place, or theirs? I would prefer to be in public. Okay. 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 Um. When is the last time you went on a date? Um, it was right before Christmas. Before Christmas, tell us about it. Like, how was it? It was it was cute. We went um, we went to lunch and we went to this bar in DC. We had lunch. We had it was it just happened to be happy hour all day. Mm -hmm. So we had drink. Um, we conversed. And then he took me back to my job. It was nice. Okay. We, it was it was cute. Okay. So we gotta get we gotta get you going some more dates, Malik. Um, all right. I got spicy questions for Malik. If you want to ask him a spicy question, go ahead and put a red pepper. Put a red pepper and put your question, and I will ask your question. Okay. All right, Malik. You ready for these spicy questions? I'm ready for the spicy question. <laughs> All right. Do you own any nudes of yourself? And if so, what body parts? And do you send those to guys? Um. Yes, I send nudes, and I'll show a plethora of things. But hope. <laughs> what are the plethora? What's on the menu? I decide. I'll just. I'll. I'll send you a video. <laughs> a video of what? Of whatever I got going on at that moment. Okay, okay. <laughs> you make sure they got a good view of what they get into, right? I can typically do a, a little bit better on the lighting. <laughs> I know your lighting is... Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> they said, do you have a Twitter? I used to. The <laughs> Y'all trying to... They want to know, what is the most aggressive thing you've done in the bedroom? Um... So I was dealing with my ex, and I definitely like we were having like angry sex. Yep, you were dealing with your ex, and y'all were having angry sex. We were having angry sex, and I tied his hands behind his like back with a necktie, and I kind of I was just really rough, you know. You know, like how were you rough? Did you choke him? Like I was like I kind of rode him like a horse, like. Pull them back up against me. Um, you know, like when you argue with your, your spouse and then you tell them to like shut the fuck up. 
and they was like moaning, and you'd be like, shut the fuck up. Like, bro, shut the fuck up sometimes. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, that sounds aggressive. <laughs> Real dominant. There you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. Um, what is your fantasy? They said sexually. Um, I don't know. Like fantasy. I guess I don't have anything that I really want to try that I haven't. I guess like really good. I want to make love. Like, cause niggas don't be in love no more. We just be fucking. <laughs> you want something passionate. <laughs> yeah, that's not like, you know, uh, just weird. It's weird. Okay, someone would, have you ever played with two tops? Um, No, I haven't. All right, all right, all right. You all, this is Malik. Malik is in D.C. He's 28, 6'2", 275 pounds. He's team Pisces, team Verse. He's in property management. He also um, owns his own interior design company. He's looking for um, a guy. Um, you said uh, open to race, or you prefer oh, of color? People are oh, messing in the comments. I'm open to any race. I'm sorry. <laughs> what are they saying in the comment section? How do you say he's a shooter? <laughs> <laughs> but it might be somebody who experienced you. I don't know. I don't know. One of your fans. Okay. Um, He's open to dating long distance, open to race. He prefers monogamy. Um, seems like a great guy. Um, tell us your Instagram handle, please. My Instagram handle is slay or salute. Slay or salute. All right. Go on some dates. Keep me posted. Thanks for coming on the show. That works out. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Oh, y'all are crazy in the comment section. You know that? You're absolutely crazy. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Thank you to um, folks who have purchased badges tonight. I appreciate the support. Um, you know, BLK is one of our sponsors tonight. That's why I'm wearing all their swag. If you download their app, their dating app, it's free. They're going to donate $10 to a local aid service organization. So I definitely would appreciate you all to... Um, Support, but you can do that by clicking on the link in my profile. In my profile, I'm going to leave it up all week so you can do that tonight. Download the app, all right? Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. All right, let's go to let's see, just James, just James. I'm coming to you, just James. Let's see if you're ready, James. I know, James. Come on, come on. James, are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Hello, hello, hello. What's up? What's up? How you doing? Yes for the water. Yes for the water at night. Okay. Right. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing great. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Good, good, good. You've been on a while ago, right? Yeah, back in May of last year. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So we've been doing this show. Next week it'll be one full year. Okay. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. It's good. Yeah. Now, did you go on any dates from the show when you were on? Uh, no. Actually, I, I received some de – well, yeah, I kind of dated – went on a date with one person here locally, but most of my DMs were from outside of uh, Atlanta. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we'll try to get you some Atlanta guys tonight, okay? Yeah. All right, all right. All so this is James. James <laughs> is in Atlanta. James, how old are you? I am a youthful 54. 54 in the house and youthful. How tall are you and about how much do you weigh? 5'9", 185. 5'9", 185. Listen, it's solid guy night, okay? You can't be a twink, apparently, tonight. <laughs> what's what's going on? <laughs> hey, what time of year? Right. What's your zodiac sign? Team Leo. Leo in the house. Leos are great. Y'all real aggressive and assertive, too, though. Very much so. Mm -hmm, Very mm -hmm. much so. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you team top, bottom, or verse? Team total top. T t total top is not going to happen. <laughs> team total top. Okay. What type of work do you do, James? So I'm in higher ed. 
um, I work in higher ed and I have a, um, I work a part-time gig as a um, administrator, a educational administrator at a home for um, middle, and, middle and high schoolers that are in the custody of the state. Oh, nice. The guy, um, was it Joseph or Marvin did something similar, but okay, but you're in higher ed. Okay. Yeah. Tell us, um, what is your um, Instagram handle? Uh, D R M A C zero eight, Dr. Mac 08. All right, you all, this is James. James is in Atlanta. He's 54, 5'9, 185 pounds. He's a Leo team top. He works in higher ed and also does some administrative work with a, with a youth home. Um, tell us what type of guy are you looking for, James, tonight? So, one thing that I've learned in my many trips around the sun is that, you know, you need to have a friend first. So I'm looking for someone I can be friends with um, and, and it could build into a relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, someone that is very much so settled in their life and wants to experience some, uh, experience this world. Uh, someone that's over the club scene, over the running around with their, you know, with their entourage of friends and want to go and experience the world and build some wealth and build a legacy together. So that's okay. the general, that's the gene generic version of it. You want a ride or die partner, companion, yeah. and y'all doing it together. Yeah, me and you against the world. Okay. Now, um, if you all want to come on and ask James a question live, just say, hey, Lamont, bring me on and wave your hand. I'll bring you on so you can ask James a question live. I would love to have somebody come and ask him a question. Okay. <laughs> now, James, do you want to get married? Do you want to have children? <laughs> Okay, so I'm not Abraham. Uh, children, not the question. <laughs> <laughs> no kids. <laughs> Running around here with some little kids. I'm 57 years old. Um, I've been married. I want to get married okay. again. Okay. Married now, again. were you married to a man or a woman? Man. Okay. How long was that marriage? Uh, we were legally married three and a half years. Ah, okay. Okay. So how long ago was that? <clears throat> the divorce was finalized last March. Okay, so it's been a while. Oh, okay, so almost a year. Okay. Bryant wants to come on and ask you a question. Let's see. Bryant, let's see if he's going to come on. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, he clicked the request button. Let's see if he accepts it. I'm sorry for squinting. This light is drying my eyes out, so. <laughs> okay, no worries. No worries. No worries. Okay. Um, now, does a guy have to live in Atlanta? For sure. I know my love languages. My, my top two love languages are physical touch and quality time. I can't get that from somebody that doesn't live here. Okay, so got to be in Atlanta. Gotta be in okay. Atlanta. Not Augusta, not Charlotte, in Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta. Okay. What's a good age range for you? So I like, I've always been attracted to younger guys since I've been older. Um, but realistically, dating someone, maybe maybe as low as young as 40 maybe the thing is today's 30 something 40 something is more mature than when i was that age so uh -huh. i have to consider that as well because i've met some guys that were very mature and had their stuff together at 32 mm -hmm. years old so i mean I, you know i would consider it um mm -hmm. but i don't i don't want anyone older than me i i've met guys that are my age or, or a little bit older and they act like they have one foot in the grave so i i'm definitely not that so Okay, so you're 54. You say maybe 40. That's like that's a preference, as low as you would go. Yeah. yeah okay. Now, um, do you prefer white, black, Hispanic, Latino, Asian? What do you prefer? Uh, black. Mm -hmm. I may consider Latino. I have dated okay. Latino before, but I've never not been in a full relationship with anybody Latino. I may consider it. I'm being open minded about to some things as I get older. Okay. Now, what are your thoughts about like monogamy, open relationships, <laughs> agreements? So that's another thing that I'm becoming open-minded to. I mean, I've always been a monogamous type of person. I've always, you know, just traditional. Mm -hmm. um, but, hell, I'm single, so maybe I need to look at something else. Um, I, I maybe I will consider, you know, because my my marriage ended up being kind of open at the end. Okay. And okay. I, was, I was all right with it. Plus, with me being a total top, I missed out on a lot of great guys that were versatile. And I just mm -hmm. cut it down because, you know, like, okay, I'm not going to be able to satisfy you in that aspect. So we don't even need to go down that road. But maybe if I'm open-minded to them doing whatever they need to do, wherever that is, and then, you know, we have our relationship. I don't know. Just, I'm exploring. I'm just open my, okay. opening my so, mind. Oh, some agreements. James, they want to know, what is your skincare routine? <laughs> so they want to know what this is. This is vitiligo. 
Let me go ahead and get No, they're saying they love your skin. They, they love oh. the your skin. My skin? Yeah. Water. Water. Okay. I drink water like a fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wash my face okay. and drink water. <laughs> nice, nice. All right. So um dating apps. Dating apps, okay? When you when you meet a guy off of a dating app, do you use dating apps? <clears throat> I have used dating apps, I've used hookup apps. Okay. So do do you meet the guy at his place, your place, or in public? So I've never met anybody off of a dating app, something that is traditionally a dating app. I've never met anybody in person from that. I met guys off of the hookup app. In fact, I actually I met my ex husband off of Jack. Ah, oh, okay. And I met the last guy that I dated since him off of Jack. So you know, it Jack. I really believe you know, there's no perfect place to meet somebody. You can't. I mean, people say I don't meet. Where, where do you meet him? Where do you meet him? Right. I mean, it's like you know, there's no perfect place to meet. You're not gonna run into somebody at the grocery store and bump buggies. This is not a Hallmark movie. So, no, I mean, my, my question is. When you're talking to a guy off one of those, is he coming to your house? You going to his house? Or are y'all meeting up in public? Okay, if it's a date, we're meeting in public. If it's a hookup, they're coming over here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. James, that was a long way of answering the damn question. <laughs> I'm like, man. I'm trying okay, to be okay. okay. <laughs> Um, when oh, have you ever been catfished on a hookup or dating app? Hell yes. What do you do when you meet him in person? Like, what happens? Um, now that I'm older, I am more mature with my re response. I will, like, entertain. Like, if we're going to dinner, I will have dinner, but I'll tell them it's not going to work. Um, but when I was younger, I, I would, like, I, I would see the person, and I'd act like I don't know who they was. Or I, I've lied and said somebody used my picture before, you know. Ah, like, they didn't okay. Me. What you talking about? No. <laughs> they want to know what part of town you stay in, James. They looking you up, bro. <laughs> Um, right now, I live in uh, West Cobb, but I'm moving closer to the city this summer. You live on the west side of Atlanta? Yes. Okay, okay. Um, spicy questions. If you all have spicy questions for James, I know you all do, put a red pepper in the comment section and put your question. I will read your question. You ready for the spicy questions, James? Let's go. <laughs> okay. Do you own any nudes of yourself? And if so, what body parts are they? And do you send those to guys? I have one dick pic. I do send it. It's just my dick, because you can't tie it to me <laughs> any other way. But last year, I did do a new photo shoot for my birthday. It's yes, artsy. I did see that on your Instagram. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell everybody in the month. Oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. There oh, were yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. That that dick pic. How old is the dick pic? Is it? <laughs> um, my dick pic is. It was taken last summer. Last summer. okay. Yeah. So, are there expiration dates on dick pics? You have to like send take a new one every six months, every year. Or do you just keep the same one? Well, the whole thing about me sending a dick pic is for a hookup. I'm not sending a dick pic to somebody I'm going. I want to date. Mm -hmm. I'm like, if you want to see that, then we need to get to know each other and you need to see it in person. But the dick pic goes to like, it's like a hookup. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me see, let me see. Um, what is your favorite sexual position? Missionary. Missionary. Why, why do you like missionary? It's just something about seeing a man, a masculine dude that's flexible with them legs back. It's just something that turns me on. That I, that's... That gives me that. <laughs> That's my weakness. <laughs> Your DMs are going to be on fire, okay? <laughs> They're going to be on fire, okay? <laughs> Not the Polaroids. <laughs> I have okay, a lot of okay. Stuff. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff on my profile, so, yeah. Okay, okay. My niece is watching, Lord, today. <laughs> hey, Raya. <laughs> um, do you like tall bottoms, they want to know? <clears throat> yeah. He likes to I mean, climb trees, folks. Height does not matter. Height doesn't matter. I do like guys that are smaller than me, though. Physically smaller than me, but... Oh, my size is smaller, but height doesn't matter. Okay, okay. All right, well, this, my record. <laughs> this is James. James is in Atlanta. He is 54, 5'9", 185 pounds. He's a Leo, team top. He works in higher education. 
He also works as an admin at a housing program for youth. He's looking for one guy. You got to live in Atlanta, not Charlotte, not Augusta, not D.C., in Atlanta. Love language is physical touch. He wants you near and by. Does not want kids. He's open to marriage. Um, James seems like a great guy, good energy. And what else did I say about James? Check out his nudes on his Instagram page. <laughs> <laughs> From last August. And he might send you that same dick pic from last. <laughs> Depends on your approach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, James, thanks for coming on the show. Tell us your Instagram handle, please. <laughs> DRMAC08. -R that's Dr. Mech08. All right. Keep me posted, okay? Will do. All right. Good night. <laughs> All right. Good night. All right. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. So I'm going I'm going longer because last week um I only gave y'all an hour. I was in New York um with my family. So I said I would keep going longer for you all this week. Um but definitely keep supporting with the badges, keep supporting the badges and download the BLK dating app, okay? If you download the um app, they're going to donate $10 to a local aid service organization. You got to click on the link in my profile, though. That's the one they're keeping track of, all right? Whew. Let's keep on going. Let's keep going. All right, let's go to, let's see, a lot of people in this queue. We are going to go to Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, let's see if you're ready. Kevin, 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 Kevin. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Kevin, are you ready? Are you ready? Hello. Hi, how's it going? I am doing absolutely amazing. How about you? I'm great, thank you. Have you watched the show before? I haven't. I actually, uh, I feel like I just discovered your account like this week at some point and then I saw uh, you go on live and I thought, hey, like, this is this is interesting. And And I was watching TV too, so um i you started like two hours ago and and this has kept me highly entertained the comments and <laughs> listen the comment section i tell it's, people you, it's one thing to watch the show the you know the next day but it's another with the comment section because they be off the chain okay yeah. <laughs> off the chain and usually i got my tissue here because sometimes i'm over here laughing so hard i'm crying y'all didn't get me yet okay it's still, well, yeah, they didn't get me yet, but we'll they, see. They're already coming for me. I, I see someone <laughs> says, put a hat on. And I'm like, I know my hair is a mess. And yeah, whatever. It's cool. Your, your hair looks fine. It's different. It got some staff. OK? <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell us your name. Uh, my name is Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Where do you live, Kevin? Uh, I live in New York. New York. I was just in New York last week. Yeah, I heard you talking about that earlier. I had to get out of there because it started snowing. Yeah, it's it's been kind of wild with the weather the last few days, but uh, mm -hmm. today was was a warm thirty five. So that was that was cool. <laughs> All right, how old are you, Kevin? I am thirty three. How tall are you? And about how much do you weigh? Uh, five seven, uh, one sixty. Oh, you are the smallest one. I thought this was big, solid guy night. <laughs> You you have broken the mold tonight, okay? Thank you, thank you. Okay? Hopefully the rest of the Twinks come on after this. <laughs> Shout out to the Twinks, hey. hashtag Twinks, okay? <laughs> <laughs> What's your Zodiac sign, Kevin? Uh, I am a Leo. Leo in the house. Okay, um, team top, bottom, verse, side. Um, verse. Verse in the house, okay. And what type of work do you do? Uh, I'm a performer, and I'm also an account manager uh, for a tech company. Okay, you said performer. What type of performance do you do? Uh, actor, singer, dancer, musical theater, all that kind of job. Okay, so you do it all. Okay. Yeah. Tell us your Instagram ham handle. Uh, it's uh, Kevin Moetti. It's basically my first and last name. Very uh, K-E-V-I-N-M-O-E-T-I. All right, well, this is Kevin. Kevin is in New York. He's 33, 5'7", 160 pounds. He's a Leo, team first. He's a performer. Um, tell us, what type of guy are you looking for tonight? Uh, just someone who's 
um, who knows who they are, you know, who's also ready for a relationship and ready to do the work that it takes to be with someone else uh, mm -hmm. and uh, someone who's maybe ambitious and uh, learned and uh, oh learned. So I just realized that if I go on live, like everyone that I know will get a notification that I oh, go yeah. on live. That's how the show works. Yeah. <laughs> and now a bunch of people that I know have like logged on. And so this is- Hi, hilarious. Kevin's friends. Say hi to your friends, Kevin. <laughs> hey, friends. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dating show. We're trying to find Kevin a man, okay? Okay, he needs love, okay? We're gonna make it happen tonight. <laughs> All right, so I would love if somebody has a question for Kevin, just wave in the comment section and be like, hey, I have a question, and I'll bring you on, and you can ask Kevin a question, okay? <laughs> All right, now, Kevin, do you want to get married? Do you want to have children? Uh, yes and yes. Uh, ideally, um, mm -hmm. that would be, you know, sort of like the traditional route, but uh, I'm also very open to sort of whatever life throws at me. Okay, so marriage is not a, 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 a deal breaker. You can be like, we could be married or we can just be together for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now, um, what's a good age range for you, Kevin? Uh, like the sweet spot would probably be like uh, like four years either way, up, up or down, four or five. Because you're 33, right? Yeah. Okay, so definitely around somebody around your age. Okay. Does the guy have to live in New York? Uh, very preferable. And hopefully, like, not super far from where I am in New York, too. But. So not, is Newark too far? Newark is, is across the river. No one's going there. <laughs> <laughs> what about North Newark? <laughs> You're like, no. Uh, pre preferably in Manhattan somewhere. In, in Manhattan, OK. Yeah. So, but not, not, what about Queens? Can you live in Queens? Nobody's going to Queens. <laughs> <laughs> Look at y'all bougie, the Manhattan, okay? <laughs> Manhattan's big though. Like I I'm like that's so that's a big stretch of yeah. That's okay, okay. Generous. So now do you prefer black, white, Hispanic, Latino, Asian? What type of guys do you like? Uh I'm very much an equal opportunity dater. Okay, okay. They're loving your nails. Let's let's see the nails. <laughs> okay, okay. <Thank> you. <laughs> Now, do you prefer um, monogamy, open relationships, uh, agreements? What do you like? Um, I think with age, I, I've never really experienced um, anything outside of monogamy. Uh, mm -hmm. But with age and sort of like learning more about how human beings operate, um, that's also something that I've never encountered. But I'm not mm -hmm. willing to just say never. I'm just like, hey, if it comes up, I I. I'd surely be interested to learn more from a person who is honest and upfront about what their needs and desires are. And uh, I'd be willing to explore that if it was okay. the right person. So the conversation is always open for you. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So I got some dating app questions since it's BLK, BLK night, the dating app, right? I want to know when you meet a guy off of a dating app, are you meeting at your place, his place, or in public? Uh, in public first. Okay, okay, okay. Um, have you ever been catfished on a dating app? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, not in a not in a major bad way, but I there was one time where someone said they were like five nine, and all the pictures that they posted were at a very good angle for them and when they rocked up they were like five four and it just it, it just uh was was not a good look how, how did you handle it i didn't make anything work so we we had a great time we had dinner uh <laughs> and at the end of that uh never saw him again but it was a great night had dinner had drinks and then just called it a night at the end of that <laughs> okay okay <laughs> All right, all right. I got some spicy questions for you. Let's go. Um, if you all have spicy questions for Kevin, go ahead and put a red pepper in the comment section, ask your question. <laughs> Since it's after 11 o'clock, only because it's after 11 o'clock, no matter how prude or Ooh. vulgar your question is, 
I will ask your question, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Kevin seems like he's game for it. This this is not prime time anymore. Essentially. It's this not is, prime time. We put the We've kids late in night territory. This is late night. It Let's gets go. real spicy. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> they said hair gel or hair grease. <laughs> hair gel or hair? I don't know what that means. Is is there like a hidden message in that? I have no idea, okay? <laughs> if it's a comment on my current, like the current state of my hair, it's like, it's late at night. I'm like done with the day. I wasn't expecting to be on camera. So my hair is not, <laughs> is neither of those. It's actually very dry right now. So. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Don't give him a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> they want to know, um, have you ever gotten fisted? Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I had such a guttural reaction to that. Um, <laughs> no, that has never happened. Likely Do you ever happen. let non-Black people use the N-word while having sex? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, poppers I'll, are no, no poppers. I'm just, they're, 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 they're coming. <laughs> uh, sorry, did you ask another question? I'm, I think I missed, I didn't hear that. Poppers or no poppers? No poppers. <laughs> Do you like it rough? Um, medium. <laughs> what is medium? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know, you gotta, gotta, like, gotta, think, gotta like medium well. <laughs> hmm? I think you gotta like wor work your way up to something, and like, like, yeah. <laughs> well, let's say that. Oh, all right, you all listen. This is Kevin. <laughs> Kevin is in New York. Um, He's 33, 5'7", 160 pounds. He's a Leo team verse. Um, he was a, he's a performer. He's looking for a guy who lives in Manhattan. Preferably, but also like Brooklyn, Brooklyn, definitely. Not Queens. <laughs> he's not Queens, traveling to Queens. Probably not, but uh, <laughs> Brooklyn, Manhattan, yeah, we can buy. Definitely not Staten Island. Not, not Long Island, uh, probably. Oh. Hell no. <laughs> um, he's open to um, different races. You have to be maybe four years younger, four years older. Um, he's open to conversations about, you know, what your relationship looks like. Open to getting married, but that's not a deal breaker. Um, he's looking for a great guy. He seems like a lot of fun um, and is enjoying himself and great energy. Kevin, tell us your Instagram handle, please. It is K-E-V-I-N-M-O-E-T-I. -E -E All right. Moe. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank Enjoy you so your much. cold night up there in New York. Yeah. Have a good night, y'all. <laughs> All right. Bye. Good night. All right. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Um, let's next go to, let's see, let's see. Aaron, let's see if Aaron is ready. Aaron, 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 Aaron. Let's see if you're ready. Ooh. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How you doing? Great. How are you? I'm great. Aaron, how old are you? I'm 27. Okay, I'm going to say you got to be 18 to be on here. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm definitely eight, 18 and over. Okay, okay. <laughs> Have you watched the show before? I've seen a snippet. I just watched it. I just saw The Last Guy. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So are you single? Yes. Okay, so it's a dating show. Yes. I'm going to ask you some questions to get okay. to know you and get guys to take you out on a date. Oh, I love that. Okay, okay, okay. Is your page public or private? Is my what? Is your Instagram account public or private? It's public. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. perfect. Um, <laughs> tell me your name. It's Aaron, right? Yes. Aaron, okay. Aaron, where do you live? I am in New York. In New York. Okay. Now, the last guy was in New York. I know. Uh, you said you're 27? Yes, sir. How tall are you and about how much do you weigh? I'm 6'1", and I'm uh, 185 ish. 180? I go between 180 ish? and 190. It depends. What does it depend on? <laughs> what I'm eating and what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> What's your zodiac sign? Virgo sun, Virgo moon. 
He is a Virgo for you folks, okay? Okay. And Libra <laughs> rising. Hello. <laughs> now, are you um, team top, bottom, or verse? I'm team verse on the side to top. What? Yes. It's a spectrum. I'm listening. Tell me more. Tell me more. It's a spectrum. I lean more towards the top, but I'm versed. We'll do what we got to do. So you're a verse top, we would say. Yeah, but I don't really like labels. Like, you know, whatever the energy is, let's get it. Okay. 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 What type of work do you do, Aaron? <laughs> um, I'm in banking. Banking? Yes. What do you do in banking? Um, operational risk management. Okay, okay. Tell us your Instagram um, handle. Aaron Spain Bay. Spell it for these people, because they're going to be DMing me asking for it. Okay. Okay, hold on. A-A-R-O-N-S-P-A-I-N-B-E-Y. All right, you all. This is Aaron. Aaron is in New York. He is 27. Six foot one, 185, maybe 190, depending on what he ate that day. Right. He's a Virgo. He's yes, team sir. first, but leaning more towards the top. He works in banking. Tell us, what type of guy are you looking for tonight? Tonight? Um, someone nice, someone who's open, someone who likes to try new things, um, worldly. Yeah. Okay, okay. I would love for somebody to come on and ask Brian, um, Aaron, a question. I don't know who Brian is. I got like <laughs> 10 names in my head, okay? <laughs> Aaron. That's fine. You're working. You're doing a great job. <laughs> um, I would love for somebody to come on and ask Aaron a question. So if you want to ask him a question, wait. I'm not on Wall Street. That's so funny. Everyone says I'm on Wall I'm not on Wall Street. That's so funny. Lord. Wave and say you want to ask him a question. I'll bring you on, okay? Um, okay. Do you want to get married? Do you want to have children? Yes. I, I want to get married, but I'm more focused on a partner versus being married. And I do want children. Okay. Okay. Now, does a guy, um, does he have to live in New York? No. Mm -mm. No? Okay. Okay. Open different cities. I'm What's a good all age over range? The world. All over the world. Okay. What's a good age range for you? Um, 24 to 40. 24 to 40. Okay. I got someone who wants to come on and ask you a question. I'm not um, <laughs> damn it, S-T-U. Let me bring him Please on. Please bring him on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Bring him on. <laughs> Do you have a passport? Somebody wants to know. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Hello, right hello, now. hello. Hello, right hello. <laughs> Do you all know each other? That's actually my cousin. <laughs> Somehow we both on here. That's right. <laughs> okay, family. <laughs> okay. Well, introduce yourself to everybody, please. So, oh, hi, everybody. So my much. name is Stuart. Um, I am Aaron's cousin. Uh, I live in D.C., and I'm 26 years old. All right. All right. Do you have a question for your cousin? I do have a question for my cousin. Okay. <laughs> so, Aaron, what would you say that your attachment style is and what is your love language? Mm. Okay. Ooh, I don't know the attachment styles off the top of my head. There's anxious, avoidant, and secure. Anxious, avoidant, and secure. I'm probably like leaning more towards anxious because I like mm. I like to think. I'm a thinker. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, and my love language is quality time for sure. Mm. Quality time. Quality time and um, gifts. Okay. okay. <laughs> Give me gifts. Hey, get, oh, so quality time and gifts. Okay, good, 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 good. Good question, good question. All right, good, good. Thanks for coming on, cousin. No problem. All right, he has to do his too at some point. <laughs> ah. He has to. Click the request, we'll bring you on. <laughs> Got you. Okay. All <laughs> right. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good question. Okay. Get your cousin out there supporting you, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. We have the best time. Now, wh when did you all find out about each other that you both like guys? Um, Like a year or two ago. I don't know how long it's been. Yeah. Oh, okay. So more recently. Okay. Recently. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay.
Now, okay, you said um, I was asking you about location. Do you prefer the guy to live in New York? I mean, that's cool, but like, no, I'm, I'm, that's fine. Fly me out. Okay, or all over the world. world. Okay. Yeah. Now, what about race? Do you prefer black, white, Hispanic, Latino, Asian? Doesn't matter. Okay. Mm -mm. What are your thoughts about like um, monogamy, open relationships, agreements? Yeah. Um, historically, monogamy, monogamy, but I don't know, like I've been reading a lot more about polyamory and all that stuff. So I'm open to exploring that. So I'm not opposed to like an agreement or something like that. Because okay. yeah, I'm cool with that. As long let's, as let's, find a, out. let's 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 explore. Have a conversation about it. okay. Okay, so now, do you ever <laughs> use dating apps to find guys? Yes. Okay. Have you ever been catfished? Yes. <laughs> Tell us when, when you've been catfished, what do you do? Um, I leave, close the door, <laughs> everything. <laughs> it does not continue. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, this is not you. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no conversation. Bye. <laughs> Unless you're cute. <laughs> so if but you look better than the happened, picture, so. then... <laughs> So you've been good. Have you ever been catfished in a good way? Um, have I ever been catfished in a good way? I don't think so. Mm -mm. Like the picture he sent was not him, but he was actually cute. Mm, not that I can yeah. recall. Okay, okay. Now, when you meet a guy off of a, a dating app, um, do you meet at his place, your place, or in public? Um, I don't mind going to like someone's if they come to my personal space or whatever. But I like pub. I prefer public. Okay, public. Okay, okay. All right, so I got some spicy questions for you, Aaron. Okay, um, here we go. If, if you all have spicy questions for Aaron, I will ask your questions, no okay, matter. Everyone's coming about me being flown out. What's wrong with that? Like, <laughs> Can you fly yourself out? I can fly myself out for sure. Tell them, tell them, tell for them. Sure. You no know, problem? <laughs> all right, so if you have spicy questions for Aaron, no matter how prude or vulgar they are, I will ask it. So put a red pepper, put your question, I will ask them, okay? <laughs> Aaron, mm. spit or swallow? Yeah, I saw that one, spit. <laughs> mm -mm. <gasps> it depends again, but most likely spit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Someone said they're gonna Uber to your house. <laughs> Someone's what? They're gonna Uber to your house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, do you have any nudes? Um, and if so, what body parts? And do you send those on dating apps? Not like on a dating app. No, I don't send those out on nudes. Mm -mm. Where, like where, where, where do you send those out on? If it's like a hookup thing, then yeah, like let's let's like figure this out. <laughs> okay. If okay. We're interested. <laughs> Someone wants to know what makes your box wet. Mm. Um, I don't know. Confidence. I don't know. That's kind of lame. Confidence. Uh, that, 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 we'll, we'll take that. We'll take that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. All right. Do you take 70 loads by request? Do I take what? 75 loads by request. 75 loads? No. There's a, there's a video apparently that's serving the internet. Somebody who, um, Took 75 loads in one day. That's what that question's about. It oh, OK. I've never seen that. That's so funny. No. I, I haven't either. I don't want to see that. OK. Oh, all right, all right. You all, this is Aaron. Aaron is in New York. He's 27, yeah, six Aaron. foot one, 185 pounds. He's a Virgo, team verse. He works in banking. He's looking for one guy. Um, you don't have to live in New York. He will fly to you. He can afford it. I'll get on that plane. <laughs> <laughs> He's open to marriage and children. Um, he seems like a, a ball of energy. Um, tell us your Instagram handle, please, Aaron. At Aaron Spain Bay. That's it. All right. Go on some dates, okay? I, I will. I was on one today, so I'm about it. <laughs> Went on a date and now he's on a dating show. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> he's looking to find love. Okay. All right. Thanks, Aaron. Bye. Bye. Right, bye. I don't know how to.
I got you, Offer. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right, listen, what time is it? Lord, today. Lord, today. All right, you all, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Don't forget to download the BLK app. Let's see. All right, let's go to, Lord, this list is long, long, long. Chris, let's, let's see if you're ready. I am Chris. Chris, let's see if you're ready. Shout out to folks who are buying badges. I appreciate the support so much. Hello, hello, hello. What's up? Dang, I did not know you was about to add me that quick. It's a five second delay. I'm trying to give you a hand. <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> How you doing, Chris? Hey, what's up? How are you? Good. You watched the show before? Like once. Okay. You just so you know what you, you 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 know what you're getting yourself into, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you might have to find somewhere to prop the phone up so it can stay still, okay? I got you. Oh, I'm taking this hat off. My head is getting hot. Oh. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. Chris, where do you live? I live in Atlanta. ATL in the house. Okay. Um, Chris, how old are you? I am 26. Oh. How tall are you and about how much do you weigh? I'm 5'8 and I weigh about 140. So all the smaller guys are coming on at the end of the show. Not small. I think that 5'8 is not even that small. It's like average, not tweet. Oh, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, compared to the guys that were on early, nobody was under 200 pounds, OK? Uh, <laughs> and you said 140? 140. 140, OK, OK. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Sagittarius. Sagittarius, OK. Is your page public or private? It's public. OK, perfect, perfect. Um, are you team top, bottom, first, side? <laughs> the crazy questions, oh, my god. Um, they want to know, okay? Yeah. Only a few people can find that out. But no, I'm down for whatever. I'm going to say verse. <laughs> okay, Chris, don't make this complicated, okay? I got to have some type of mystery about me. No, no one wants to waste your time if you're not sexual compatible, okay? Is that a thing? It is a thing. If, if, if the guy's a strict bottom, he's not going to work out for you. Mm-mm. <laughs> so this shouldn't be a secret, okay? It should not be a secret, oh okay? My God. All right. What type of work do you do? Um, I work in marketing. Marketing, okay. And tell us your Instagram handle. Um, I am Chris Terrence. All right, y'all. This is Chris. He's in Atlanta. He's twenty six, five eight, one hundred and forty pounds. He's a Sagittarius. Team verse. We want to make sure y'all know that. And um, he works in marketing. Yeah. What type of guy are you looking for tonight, Chris? Honestly, I don't know. I'm just looking for someone that's fun, that's around my same age, that um, I don't know, that I can kind of grow with and have fun with. Mm -hmm. um, someone that is adventurous, that loves to travel, um, that is wholesome, um, that likes to work out. Um, someone that just can make me laugh all the time. Okay, what's a good age range? You said close to your age. What's the youngest? What's the oldest? I definitely don't want to date anyone younger than me, so I would say from twenty six to thirty. Okay, that's a tight window right there. <laughs> yeah, I mean I've dated older like in the past, and it just hasn't worked out for me. So I kind of want to see what it's like to date someone closer to my age range. Okay, does the guy have to live in Atlanta? Um, no, I actually like long distance relationships a little bit <laughs> okay okay do you have any pets no i don't somebody in the comments asked okay okay uh -huh. um uh let me see let me see um do you want to get married do you want children i do want to get married and eventually i do want to have kids but no time soon okay okay i would love for somebody if you want to ask chris a question go ahead and wave and say hey i want to come on and ask Chris, a question, I'll bring you on in the comment section, okay? <laughs> Somebody said he's a cheater. Why? Dude, a what cheater? Because I said <laughs> I like long distance relationships. No, I just like my space sometimes and with a long distance relationship. <laughs> I don't know, it just always, I don't know, it seems adventurous to me. I don't know. 
Oh, because you like to be able like to travel different places yeah, to travel, go back and see the um, I think that's fun. Um, and sometimes when you want to be alone, you can still be alone. Okay, okay. I'm now, do you, have a <laughs> do you have a preference for race, black, white, Hispanic, Latino? No, I'm actually, I'm actually want to go ahead and date outside my race, preferably. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. If I mean it doesn't matter, but I wanted to try it. Okay. Okay. Now, um, what are your thoughts about monogamy, open relationships, agreements? I don't think that's for me. Open relationships is not for me, so definitely um, keep it close. Okay, okay, all right, monogamy. All right, I got some dating app questions for you, okay? Okay. Um, do you meet guys off of dating apps? No, I don't have any dating apps. Have you ever? I have, yeah, but... I didn't like it. <laughs> okay, okay. Have you ever been catfished before? Yes. What did you do when it happened? I don't know. I kind of, I mean, when it comes to catfishing, like, that, I have no tolerance for it. I like to know who I'm dealing with. So it's an automatic cutoff um, if you're not who I feel like you say you are. Um, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, when you meet a guy, do you meet him in person? at your house or in public i would prefer to meet them in public um mm -hmm. i have went to people's houses but i would prefer to meet them in public and i definitely wouldn't want anyone that i'm just meeting the first time to be in my home but not to come to your place yeah. okay. okay all right i got some spicy questions for chris some spicy Ooh. questions all right Let's if go. you have a spicy question for chris go ahead and put a red pepper in the comment section and put your question I'm going to ask all your spicy questions. Chris can handle it, right? Yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> These comments are wild. Th those are my co-hosts. The comment section, they are lit. Um, have you ever done face up, ass down? Like, that is, a, is that what it's called? I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna say yes. Yeah. He said yes. Yeah, they said yes. Oh, he said yes. Let me see. What is there? When was the last time you talked, and what clubs do you go to in Atlanta? Oh God. Um, <laughs> they trying to get out of business. Um, I don't really go to a lot of clubs, but I have been to a few in Atlanta. So, um, top of my head, I've been to Compound, um, mm -hmm. been to Rebel. Uh -huh. um, I don't know. Clubs are everywhere in Atlanta. Okay, they want to know when's the last time you talked. <laughs> Bring it back around. Um, it's been a few months. Few months. Okay. Do you prefer being eight or do you prefer to give oral? Oh no, I prefer to for it to be given to me. Okay. Okay. Um, I forget. It was another question. They're moving so fast. <laughs> Let's see yeah. if there are other questions. Jeez. Yeah, they go they go in hard on these in this comment section, okay? <laughs> Do you like tall guys? <laughs> yeah. Um, but not too tall. I hate like I don't really like a tall this is sounds so mean. I don't really like a tall, skinny guy. If okay. you're tall, you have to have some weight to you. Because I feel like I'm slim, so I don't like a tall slim guys. But you do have okay. to be a little bit taller to me. Okay. Um, have you ever been double penetrated or deep penetrated? I guess that's the question. No. <laughs> no. No and no. Um, when's the last time you bottomed? It's been a few months on that as well. A few months as well. Okay. All right, you all. This is Chris. You, you, you all's spicy questions are off the hook. Um, Chris is in Atlanta. He's 26, 5'8", 140 pounds. He's a Sagittarius team verse. He works in marketing. Um, he's open to dating guys of different races um, around his age. You said like 26 to about 30. Um, he wants kids, wants to get married. Um, into You said monogamy. Um, you don't have to live in Atlanta. Um, he seems like a fun guy. Tell us what type of, uh, tell us your Instagram handle. Um, I am Chris Terrence. Spell it for these people, because they're going to be in my Jesus. DM asking for it. I-A-M-C. 
C-H-R-I-S-T-E-R-R-A-N-C-E. All right. Chris, go on some dates, okay? Hit me up. <laughs> Keep me posted, please, please, please. Yeah, all right, <laughs> all right yeah, good night. Well. All right. Woo! All right, so listen, we are at the end of the night. We've been on here since 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Listen, thank you all so much for coming on the show tonight. Next week next week um, is our one-year anniversary. It's Shoot Your Shot Wednesday's first, you know, first year anniversary. So we'll do something big. We'll make it fun. Um, definitely thank you to our sponsor, our special guest, BLK, the dating app. Do me a huge favor. Go ahead and download their app by clicking on the link in my profile. They're going to donate $10 for every time you download their free app to an aid service organization here in Atlanta. It can't hurt for you to download the damn app, okay? Check it out. I want you all to find love um, by using dating apps. If you don't like dating apps, I'm a matchmaker. I work with gay men all over the United States to help them find love. Yes. So if you're single, you're like, hey, Lamont, I need help finding love. DM me. We'll talk. Okay. Shout out to the comment section. Y'all crazy as hell. I love you all. You make every Wednesday super fun and inspirational. I will see you all next week. Peace out. <laughs> Old people say peace out. <laughs> Good night.